waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Hello and welcome to another exciting edition. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're uh, Ruskin and Zach here on ESPN Arkansas. Come early. Get your seat. Hit that line.com. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we well, don't want to be left out. You know, we can never be um sold out Why's of that? listeners. Well, everyone, anyone could turn the radio on. There's no True. limit. True. There's no limit. Everyone could turn them all at once. And it would still work, I think. Isn't that how that works? Has that ever been tested? If everybody listened to the same thing at the same time, we got like what two million people in Arkansas? Three million? Three, four. I don't know. I don't know what the number is now. I know it was three. We crossed the three threshold during the last census. Oh, we did. Yeah, really. Three point oh four six. Yeah, that, that would make sense, right? So we've got a hair over three million. Okay. Let's focus on the point oh four. Yeah, the point six. Let's point out, <laughs> on the point. <laughs> Those zero, are our people. zero six. <laughs> <laughs> Before we even uh, begin, I want to congratulate some of you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we we do a lot of we do a lot with a uh, with with a lot of our local businesses, and uh, we never really say thank you. You know, we we we. Uh, I was talking to Matt Mock earlier. Um, thank you guys for getting arrested. Uh, you are keeping them literally in business so much so <laughs> that they are willing to open another mock, mock legal center to uh, I guess you know help some of your cousins. Um, he said that um, that they took out a bunch of cases from us. From, from our people. From our people. Yeah. Getting in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Dickie, what a surprise. About that? That's great for them. <laughs> Thank you, DQ. All right. Another uh, tremendous uh, piece of analysis <laughs> from DQ. In good, a, good for business. In it a, is. In a Vanderbilt sweatshirt today. Yeah. 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 What's Not with, Alabama. What's with the Vandy? Oh, there's no real reason. Okay. It was clean. I just put it on. Okay. okay. Community closet. No. Well, what? this one has been worn by a few people. Like recently. But it is mine. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh that one says just doing our part. There's yeah, a text thank here. Thank you there guys. Is, uh TA in Las Vegas on the McCarty and Hotline referring to it as Felonious Friday. Okay. Sure. Sure. That's pretty good. Well, I, again, I, I got a thank you call from uh from one of our sponsors today. Um so yeah. thanks guys. Thank you for committing crimes. <laughs> we are great. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, it's a uh, it's a Friday free for all here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. So whatever you want to uh, get into, we are prepared. Eight six six two eight five four zero zero five. Well, we're not prepared, but you know, no, we'll, no, we'll, there's no preparation done. We'll figure something out, right? You know what I mean? We'll figure something out. Uh, DQ, are you in a bad mood? Texters are uh, texting in, wondering if you're in a bad mood today. No. She had a good night last night. Um, we had a good day yesterday. Yeah. Got to hang out with the Globies? Yeah, they have a mascot named Globy. Really? Is it a globe? Hang on. <laughs> it so, so oh, it when, is. So when I said you got to hang out with the Globies, I kind of knew what I was talking about, right? Yeah. I, it's with totally by accident. Globy and Big G. Big G. Big G. Okay. It's the inflatable not, Globy. She did not know who Curly Neal was. Yeah. Or Metal Lark That's Lemon. Right. But she well, will be watching these. Those Scooby- guys have been dead for 50 well, years. Now, That's what- they live. They live on. In the uh, the Scooby Doo cartoons and uh, the Gilligan's Island reruns, hey, there is Globy. Yeah. I'm looking at him right now, and uh, Big G. Now, do these mascots do um, any uh, tricks or anything? Oh or yeah, they just walk around. Well, Globy with people? didn't really do anything, but Big G really did. What did he do? Uh, he, you know, did the inflatable mascot bounce on your head thing. Mm. I love that trick. I'm, yeah, it's great. I'm yeah. thinking maybe. They only had one person to do the mascots because you never saw Globy and oh, Big G. Oh, you never see them in the same place at the same time. <laughs> budget cuts. Yeah, you know. So budget, maybe they only stuff. had one guy available. <laughs> budget cuts. 
Uh, DQ Abner would like to know if you've lost the game yet. I'm that's this does not count. It doesn't count when it's okay. brought up by a texture. Uh, Hogballer is complaining. Uh, we did not do roster on the ones. Hang on. All righty, let's uh, check on the roster. Uh, yeah, Randy, it's just me still. Uh, can I go home this weekend? There ain't gonna be anybody here this weekend either. No, you're required to attend the red white game. I'll hang up and listen. <laughs> you are retired. <laughs> you're required as a good fan. A loyal fan. Uh, Mongo had a good the red question. White game. Um, does the mock legal center offer a discount to the Merry Band of Idiots? It's on your third felony. Uh, you get a discount. You mentioned the promo code. <laughs> Joe Badamasa sucks. No, <laughs> I don't know about all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Uh, let's see here. Um, a lot of musical stuff oh. going on here. Well, here we go. Uh, th- this is nice. Uh, Brian and Gravit is texted. Uh, the next time you mention cards, can you give me my guy Matt Lee a shout out? Got me a great deal on a dumpster and a porta potty. Oh man! All right, there you go. Let it go. Well done, Matt Lee. I would also like to. Uh, I met a. Uh, I met a listener in the wild today. Did you? Yeah. How'd that go, Thomas? Look, yes. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did you make eye contact? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Shook his hand. Yeah. Wow. He, okay. He right. So there what you did go. He, did he say? Do you remember anything you talked about? He said, "Are you Derek?" And I'm like, "Yes." And he's like, "I uh, I, I listen to you guys' show." I'm like, "Oh, thank you." What's your name, man? Thomas from Tony Town. All right, Thomas. Like, from all right, Tony thank Town. you. There you, you go. loves Tony Town. Great, don't you? Yep. <laughs> uh, here's Great a text. Place. <laughs> text around the four seven nine. How much do I need to donate to hear DQ say something hateful about Brian from Ozark? Uh, let's get felonious Friday off to a start. I don't like people who use slurs, so I don't like him. Okay. He uses go. a lot of slurs. Uh, yeah, a lot he of does, slurs. He, does. He, he runs the gamut. Yeah. He offends all. Now, yes. in, in his um, in his own way, though, he offends like across all like yes, lines. All platforms. Like, uh, he uses all of them. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gender, racial, doesn't matter. He uses them all. In, so. in, in military terms, he's spraying and praying. He's <laughs> he, he is. Yes, he, he covers, covers everybody. He covers the full gamut of offensive uh, words. Yeah. I uh, I don't have it. Okay, so you must have it. That's very funny. Oh, yeah. No, that's not it. Oh uh, yeah, I do. Hey, there by the is. way, the, this hour of the Ruskin and Zach show is Brian and Ozark free. Brought to you by Cards. If you're looking for a company to dispose of your waste responsibly, Cards Recycling is your best option in Arkansas. No job too big or too small. Cards does it all. Eight seven seven five nine Cards. Cards Recycling is the official residential and recycling company of the Ruskin and Zach Show. They'll take your trash just like Brian. That's I I, I don't. You know what? Last part. You know what? Mean. He he's he's hit bingo on all of the uh the the, the slurs and I'm done with him. He's harmless. He's useless. Okay. <laughs> he is an equal opportunity offender. That's what someone said here. You want me to check uh, in with you. Chuck and see if he's uh studied? We can ask him some questions about the red white game tomorrow. Because you know, he said he'd be no, ready. I really don't care about okay. the red white game tomorrow because have, it's a football practice, and I have don't food care. Food and maybe the, the the inflatables will be there. It's a wonderful time for people who don't get to go to the stadium to get in for free for for a day. That's that's what it, that's the extent of it. As far as anything valuable on the football side, not much for us to consume. Ooh, there. I don't not know. Much. I don't know about not. Well, I don't know about that. Well, not much uh, for it, us to consume be there. Tail and greens first opportunity to you know with. Out in the wild, playing playing football, where you know it's it's a game situation. You get to see you get to see what the quarterbacks look. Do like. it against Oklahoma State. Do it against UAPB. Which, by the way, DQ. Good news, the uh, UAPB game has been moved. Yeah, it's a Thursday. Thursday. Why? Right. Now Derek was doing the math on this. ESPNU. Yeah, Derek was doing the math on this. We're out at three thirty. Now that you day. now they're going to change that. And we're going to stay here until you know. Well, there's no, tarnation. There, there's no way around it. We are out at 3.30 well, no matter they what. They will cut off the Razorback pregame and do more of us <laughs> just so we don't get to go home. Or we'll go on at noon and then until 3.30. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's very, very possible. That may have. No, actually, what we'd probably do is the way it would go here is we'd do 9 to 11, then halftime, then go back Yeah, we go back on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that would seem right. Well, it's opening day. you got to blow out the coverage. You right. know? If, well, you got to do 14 straight hours on a uh, game against an FCS opponent. I've said that for years. So uh, that's uh, that's definitely what may uh, be happening. Ah, yes. Uh, somebody B wants to know if uh, they'll be passing around the plate at the game tomorrow. Uh, I assume so. Oh yeah. I, yes. I'm sure that they will hand everybody a little QR code where you can, you know, they make it nice and convenient for you. Yeah, they can. Also, I'm out on Cal. Oh, you are. I'm, I'm completely out. Okay. Uh, in 24 well, this, hours, he has managed to. That didn't uh, take long. Now I'm, I'm completely out. He's fraud. Um, 
you know, I watched the video of him trying to do the hog call, and they're showing him wrong, and they're setting him up to fail. I see. You don't I'm like out. totally out. He's Sorry. not going to win a game here. Not not okay. doing the hog call like that. All right, no well, sir. That didn't take long. Yeah, pretty much. So you want him fired? No, 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 no. no. I, there's time. I mean, he's just got to get it right. Chuck does it right. Well, yeah. Well, who are you going to get? <laughs> oh, the taxes. <laughs> Think of the recruit. Oh, my God. The recruiting and, and the taxes. Yeah. And the taxes and the recruiting. It's 10 minutes after the hour. Have you thought of the recruits today? Um, We'll be back in a moment on Ruskin and Zach on ESPN he Arkansas. He bought you lunch? He did. You cheap mother. He did. That's right. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenics Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference. For you, man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again at work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text bike to 321 321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenix Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text B I K E to 321 321. That's bike to 321 321. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Your one-stop shop for everything golf. Golf USA in Fayetteville. The best selection, the biggest brands. Titleist, Callaway, Pink, TaylorMade, Mizuno, PXG. Great golf apparel by Travis Matthew. FootJoy, Adidas, Nike, Bad Birdie, and William Murray. And Golf USA has been a Golf Digest top fitter six years in a row. They have full club repair and two hitting bays for custom fittings and indoor play. We are as golf as it gets at Golf USA. 3184 North College in Fayetteville. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hit that line.com to schedule an appointment. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. 
Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spa's 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000 and construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spa's in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. Are you ready to level up your wellness game and feel your absolute best? You bet, Amber, and the place to do it is Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness. Voxy is your ultimate destination for all things health and well-being. Whether you're looking to shed some pounds, boost your energy, or simply improve your overall wellness, Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness has got you covered. With a team of experienced professionals and a personalized approach, Voxy will help you achieve your weight loss goals like never before. And folks, if you're struggling with weight loss, fatigue, or even low testosterone symptoms, Voxy has a game changer for you. With our concierge medicine approach, we will be with you every step of the way through your wellness journey. Semiglutide is a groundbreaking medication that has shown remarkable results in helping people lose weight and keep it off. And Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness is one of the few places where you can access this life-changing treatment. Take control of your wellness journey and text Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness today. Text 479-274-8454. Remember, it's time to invest in yourself and score big on your well-being. Visit VoxyNWA.com. That's V-O-X-Y-N-W-A.com. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Welcome to the entertaining portion of the broadcast day. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. It's not working. There it is. Did you wake up? No. All right. The news is brought to you by the Good Chair. I had to have a place to sit. Get the Good Chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by and tell Robert Giovanna sucks and you would like a seat in the Good Chair. We've got baseball tonight. Arkansas, will you make the final four? In them wacky uniforms with the pigs with horns. And did I hear you say woo! you were playing a game today <laughs> with the home crowd yelling, woo, pig suey. Hey, those pigs may be hogs, but they're kosher to me. Gabish. Arkansas visiting T Town tonight for a big series with the Crimson Tide. Arkansas 29 and 3 on the year, 12 and 1 in the league, but. They've only played three true road games. And Alabama, 72 days away, Zachary. Yep. Alabama's 22 and 11. Oh, uh, four and eight in the league. They're bad. First pitch tonight at 6 p.m. We're on the air at 5 30 with the dugout show. You can hear the game on selected ESPN Arkansas stations or on hitthatline.com and, of course, on the Hit That Line app. Matt Lor- Norlander of CBS Sports is reporting uh, John Calipari is expected to bring all of his assistants uh, Orlando and Tiqua, Chris Chin Coleman, he's my favorite, uh, Chuck Martin, and Bruiser Flint. A hell of a group right there. Yeah. Uh, he's also expected to bring his son Brad, who's been the who was the player <laughs> Brad. coming soon to a Dixon Street right. near you. The Calipari coaching staff. Yeah, Katie bar the door. <laughs> well, after being turned down by literally everybody, Kentucky is hiring Mark Pope. Yeah, I turned him down. Yeah, signed a five year deal. <sighs> Boy, he is one ten and fifty two at BYU. Um, they gagged one up during the. Uh, the NCAA tournament, but uh, had a nice little run there at uh, BYU. A lot of guys from the uh, the BYU team uh, jumping into the portal, so if they're uh, heading to Kentucky, uh, good luck. Uh, Alabama sophomore Ryland Griffin, who started 33 games for the Tide, has entered the transfer portal. He's a starter. Averaged 11 points, three rebounds, shot 39% from the line. Are they going to stop paying him? Is that what the deal is? When you're that experienced, what if they're bringing in someone else? Oh, Replace him. Yeah. You're asking Zach Expos, brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. DQ. 
uh, make sure I get this right. Uh, if you tried out, do you think you could get the part for the fool at a Renaissance fair? No. 57.7% of you said yes. Be honest with me, Deke. You, can you spell Renaissance without looking? I think so. Go ahead. Oh, gosh. I could write it down no, for sure. No, spell it. Use it in a sin. Can you spell Renaissance? R E N I S S A. Nope. R E N A I S S A N C E. Renaissance. Seventy-four point three percent of you could not spell Renaissance. Um, DQ. Would the Bronco Chase have broken Twitter if it had if it had existed? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. About it damn near broke morning. television. Yeah, ninety-six point nine percent of you said yes. DQ. Is there anything more awkward than someone having digestive issues in a public bathroom? There's not much more okay. that could be awkward than that. Fifty-five percent of you said no. I have one. Okay. You ask the uh, large lady when she's due, and she's not due. That's why you you just you don't just do you that. never you don't put yourself Unless, in until doctor, until they bring up that they're pregnant yep. or have any indication that they're pregnant. You just keep it to yourself. Right. DQ, here's the texture of the 479. says you're putting your French to work with the word Renaissance. Uh, DQ, if someone is uh, over the age of 45 and out past 9 p.m. French. on a weeknight, it, Renaissance is. is it? Yes. They're uh, over 45 and out past 9 on a weeknight. <laughs> Can you safely assume that they took a nap earlier that day? Yes. 88.8%. At like said, 6 yeah. p.m. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. Good nap will uh, that, good nap will get you an extra two hours on the back end. Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls are brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809. Uh, we've got a, we're hearing for the first time from Dustin and Stamps. Uh-huh. All right. Love Stamps. Has anyone let Cal know that our show hurts recruiting, so he oh. has an uphill battle a-coming? Yeah. <laughs> got to, got, look, have you thought about the recruits today? Dustin says uh, he's probably trying to find a way out of the contract. He understands the reach mm, yep, y'all show yep, has yep. to recruit. That's right. Well, he's... see, here's the thing. And, and I don't mean to pick on Jerry and Alma, but you're do we've been picking on him for a month. I, I don't mean to. <laughs> but Poor guy. By telling people, But he is the poster child for a lot of people. I always thought I don't listen to him, but they're hurting recruiting. Well, by saying that we're hurting recruiting means that you know, like people listen to this thing. Yeah, you know, Thomas in, uh, in in Tawny Town. He bought you lunch today. He did. That's right. How did you live in a gated community? Yep. DQ lives on the streets. I mean, you think he could kick some food her way? No. Okay. All right. No. Yeah, he did. Thank hmm. you, sir. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's never happened to me before. Let's see. Rock star status, man. They're buying your meals now. It doesn't happen to me. I could charge double. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no one likes you. Yeah, I'm, yes. you're, you're mean to the callers. I am. When was the last time I was mean to a caller? That was the last time. time we had a caller. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's see here. Um, Russell says you never ask about a pregnant lady unless like the birth oh. is imminent. Oh, like, like the baby's coming. Yes, right. like like you're in the room, like and there's like pushing happening. Apparently, is what he said. Well, I find that um, it, it you. you like CrossFit people are more than happy to volunteer that they are CrossFit people. Yeah. Pickleball people cannot wait to tell you about pickleball. Yeah. Um, so I, I just wait. Eventually, you're going to tell me something about but you. Have you ever looked at someone and thought that they were pregnant, but wasn't completely no. sure? And so you kept it to yourself. But then a few months later, you find out that they had a baby and you're like, wow, I was right. No, that happened to me. Not too long ago. It was the greatest feeling ever. I'll be honest. Because <laughs> I <laughs> clocked it. I said to someone quietly, I was like, do you think that person was pregnant? <laughs> and this person was like, I don't I don't know. I don't know. And then four months later, they have a baby. Mm. You were all over it. I, I really knew. But I kept it to myself. Cyclists mostly. also in that group that will volunteer. Uh, information about their uh, about what they did. Yeah, and you're like, I didn't ask. Yeah, I but, think I've made a. Yeah, I think I made a breakthrough on uh, something around here. Um, and here? I, and I all owe, I owe it all to uh, Deborah, a YouTube commenter. Mm, okay, who uh, said we are negative. I, I think what is happening here is there are a lot of people who confuse snark for negativity. We're not negative, but we are very snarky, very, 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 very snarky. And I think the two things get confused. Yeah. You know. 
Uh, so I think that's uh, where the disconnect lies there. We're not negative. We're just snarky. Uh, DQ, that's all it is. Can we now uh, add to the list that you know pregnant women? Those are people. Yep. No, I think that was a one time. Oh, okay, thing. got lucky. I okay. got lucky. All right. All right. The whole broke oh, clock okay. and all that stuff. Craig and Elkins again. obviously uh, working through some things. Uh, trust me, if a woman is pregnant, especially if it's her first one, you will hear all about it and then some. You will not have to ask. Wow. Okay. Craig, if there's something Craig. that you would like to talk to after hours, I will give you uh, our, our private line and, and we can work through some. Get stuff. up, Craig. Get up, Craig. Ah, vegans. Also, happy to tell you all about. Uh, oh, boy. Here we go. We're That's John Witherspoon from Friday, by the way. That's my impression. Get up, Craig. <laughs> After that guy hits him in the face with a brick or whatever happens there. Uh, disc golfers also willing to tell you all about their uh, their and we're getting towards that that time of the year when everybody's out. We start bumping it's into each other. Big again. weekend, big weekend, I think for disc golf. It's gonna so? be sunny all weekend. Yeah. It, uh, well, but we're all out again. Like yeah, we're all out again. Like yeah. I started running the lake again, and I'm seeing people for like the first right. time in like six months. And it, you can see that we've all put on the, uh, the 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 winter fluff and are trying to work it back off. Yeah, the shredding. Uh, the same no. day pickle ball reservations are done for. You have to reserve the place that we go. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Us. No, 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 no. Oh. No. Oh, oh, oh. Let oh. me say. Is that really? under a bubble? It's yeah. free. No. It's free. But it's you completely have... free. Uh -huh. I. It's completely free. You just have to reserve spots, and you pay nothing. It's called the Country Club. That's your dad. No, no, no. Or... It's called. I have to had to submit a Walmart receipt, and it's through like walmart for some reason uh-huh it's free let me uh let me correct myself here uh craig hit debo with the brick not the other way around and then Smokey said you got knocked the bleep out okay that's it's, how that, that scene went you know we're, we're the we're poignant just, scene it's semantics at this point you're, you're scene. terrific movie uh let's see here um uh adver thinks we should no, start a new segment no, about this uh, no a recurring no, uh, bits bad idea bad idea Terrible idea. Oh my gosh! There it is. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, move on. Let's move back to uh, um, uh, Cal uh, in learning about how negative we are for recruiting and how yeah. that's going to hamper him. And his, so, so we his efforts. The, the, I did find it funny <laughs> that the first thing that Propaganda Plus put out today was pictures of him doing the hog call because clearly there was some blowback. From him not doing again another you know they do a lot of well, stuff. They have rabbit ears. They respond to us, I, I, and we uh, we were asking about this yesterday. We uh, you know I I said there's a silent society of men who stand but do not call the hogs at Razorback games, and we all uh, appreciate having Cal in our uh, you know in our presence now. And, well, they, uh, they put up a video of him. They had to dispute this. Well, they put the video up, and they were showing how to, him how to do it incorrectly. And there's a point where he's asking about the fingers. Oh yeah, and and here's the thing that I don't understand is in the video, there's Chuck with doing jazz fingers on stage uh, no, under no. supervision. Yeah. He's doing the jazz fingers. He's doing it correctly. He gets out on the uh, stage and he starts freestyle. Go rogue, go right. rogue. Yeah, Hunter. I don't know if he'd had a few shots before he went up there, but he's doing one hand still, the other one. Uh, I tend to bet he had. I'm just saying. I mean, you, you, that I can't even do. I'm trying to do it and I can't do it. Like my other hand's still moving. So, yeah. No. I don't know. Okay. And this this bothered you? It, it, it was a little upsetting to me. I, <laughs> I I felt like, you know what? He stood up for what he believed in. You know what? I'm going to go talk to these guys. You guys have fun. I'm going to go. And, and, he, and he succumbed to pressure, peer pressure. Right. No. Just saying. Oh, man. A great question from uh, Day Drinking out of the 501. Will the snake have time to reschedule his pickleball court time with this year's Little Rock game? Remember, call him today. Year, remember last year he got upset because they moved the game uh, and it upset his pickleball time. Can we call it? He needs to call War Memorial today and get that yeah, all squared away. Oh, um, hey, give me the thing there. Would you, uh, we yeah, would just, yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yes. Uh, I, I need to uh, reserve the pickleball court for Friday, not Thursday. At the end of August. I don't want Thursday. There's going to be people everywhere. I don't want to do that. Thank you, now, we, we, you know, they, they moved the game to Thursday. So I would like the folks at War Memorial to look right here. You have 20 weeks to get water to that place. Start buying it now. 20 weeks. It won't expire. Send one of your lackeys down to Sam's and get enough water. 
please. 20 weeks to Two get oh. the water. Two, two, zero. To get water. And if you could, maybe have some non-expired soft drinks. Just think it out loud. <sighs> Thoughts of Zach Orange do not reflect those of this radio station or its saying, subsidiaries. You, can't, you have 20 weeks to get this figured out. You buy a little every weekend. Right. It's not going right. to expire budget by August. It. You'll be budget. fine. Look, you can budget it. You don't have to buy it all at once. But, you know, maybe if you start looking at the forecast a couple of weeks out, and it's going to be really warm. Maybe you stock up a little bit more, a little extra. Yeah. And keep the employees from selling bootleg water for $20 a bottle. Oh, yeah. They went rogue. Yeah. Yeah. They started. Right. They were stealing from it. You know how much a bottle of water is at the Masters? I'm afraid to ask. $2. Really? $2. Wow. The most yeah, expensive the, don't the exp most expensive thing on the menu is like a chicken salad sandwich for 3 bucks. You could feed a family of four yeah. in there. Pimento cheese sandwich a buck 50. Now, never mind but the, the pro shop is yeah. well, well, thousands really, that's totally people different. spend people thousands of dollars. Think you people will spend thousands of dollars and then they will have it shipped from the golf course to their house so they don't have to lug from, the stuff around all from day. From my understanding about the pro shop, if you win the Masters lottery, you basically ask everyone you know. That's correct. Do you want something from the Masters? Yep. Yes. And then you just get everyone to pay you back? Yes, that's right. So you spend God. like $4,000? Yes, uh, excuse that's me. right. If I go to the Masters, I am buying nothing for any of you because I know none of you will pay me back. They At one point, they were selling some of the gear online, but the, but for the longest time, and maybe still, the only place to get the gear is there. Mm -hmm. You can't get it yeah. anywhere else. Now, you can get it off of eBay. Someone bought it already and, you know, sneezed all over the sleeve of a pullover. You can get food. the Yeah. That's pretty good. Now, yeah. the tickets will cost you eight thousand dollars. The pro shop, on the is, secondary yeah, market. The, yeah, I mean, the, the, the if you win the lottery, they're like seventy five bucks or something. That's like not that. bad. I know. Yeah, that's not bad at but all. But you got to win the lottery, right? And they know who I am, so I'm never yeah. winning the lottery again. They're like him. No, next. My only lottery win, like I told you yesterday, I used it on uh, Masters tickets twelve yeah, years ago. Well, you turned it down, and you you won't get back on that list. No, no, I'm not going. I'm not going on that. Um, can we talk about the Golden Bachelor? Yes, I think we need to. We mentioned sports earlier, right? We've, yeah, we've we fulfilled our obligation here. Um, Man, I don't know what to believe in anymore. A uh, old man and a lady who got married on a television show, they uh, made it three months, and now they're getting a divorce. Well, according to the article, <laughs> what do I, believe in? The, according to the article <laughs> I just read on page six, uh, they got divorced right after the show. <laughs> now, like, this right should, after the now show. Now, this should cancel... This should be, you know, people want to tie um, performance to NIL. They should have to stick it out for a year to get all their ABC money. You think so? I, if okay. you cancel it right after, ABC should cancel the check. But the show's over at that point. Well, still. You I still mean, have to do things for the show. Oh, you have yeah. to promote they, afterwards? They were on um Celebrity Family Feud and all of this <laughs> stuff. And that episode hasn't even aired, I don't think. So you're saying. It can't air now. It's a lost episode. <laughs> yeah. so, so you're <laughs> suggesting that, that they have to, like, live in uh, matrimonial harmony there's an oxymoron um for the year after the show yeah and then like like you hold their money in a trust or something okay an escrow and then when they hit the year mark they get the money then they can go get the quickie divorce in nevada or whatever okay yeah, i don't believe in love anymore if, if the golden bachelor can't get married on television and, may, and stick it i up. mean if a tv wedding can't last then what hope what what what, right. what do we have to believe right. in here honestly i like mean seriously Carol brady got married on tv <laughs> That is endured. <laughs> Nobody knows. Gerald Brady. What's wrong with what's wrong with Florence Henderson? He was hot back in the day. <laughs> oh, tell me I'm wrong. Oh, okay, thank man. you. All right. I have a no thoughts of, of course of, objectifying don't. Florence Henderson here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. She's back home again in Indiana. She's dead. You know well, that right? Way back in the day, I'm mean, like 15, 20 years ago, she was in, back home again in Indiana. <laughs> I was. You were deeply that was moved. Deeply moved. <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs. Back home again in Indiana. And yet you never lived in Indiana. Have not. In no, all your no, travels. No. In all my. Well, I mean, I've. Uh, again, I, I treat any state. If if you have a story. From from a particular state, then I feel like you visited it. No. I've been handcuffed in that state. Well, well that's there it is. It was by the cops. <laughs> uh, Uber Dan um, tells us. What? On the no, it was the Notre Dame Police Department. Those zip tie people. Uber Dan tells us on the McCarty Dino hotline, he's an Uber driver uh -huh. named Dan. Yep. Uh, the Athens, obviously Uber Dan. Well, I was just explaining right. the, uh, the, 
The Athens Goodwill store has a ton of master's uh, clothing. If you want to go Do check they? that out one of these days. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get all the way out there to the... Uh, I think you Google that. See if they've got like an online shop. They, that's not really how Goodwill <laughs> works. He's never been to one. He doesn't know. <laughs> oh, I find it's that incredibly just, you hypocritical. You got to go to the Goodwill. He's never been to a Goodwill. He doesn't know. <laughs> we got to get another megaphone. This is yeah, embarrassing right. having yeah, to pass yeah, it back and forth like this. We have to get our rock. Uh, All right. uh, uh, hey, Derek, there's still nobody here. I'm going to turn the lights out. Uh, hang up. Listen. Hey, it's a weekend. Go home early. You've earned it. <laughs> You've earned it. Top dog. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Scott and Fort Smith hoping that Cal can come up with a standard universal hog call. I think there, I think there needs to be like a beginner, an intermediate, and then like you know I've had six bourbons. Uh, hog call. six. Yeah. Teen. Like Juracek was doing the the six bourbon one. One hand jazz fingering, the other hand still. Yeah. You know the, the intermediate is you know maybe the jazz fingers. The beginner is the you know the one that Chuck and I do. Yeah. Again, not negative, snarky, big difference, big difference. Eight six six two eight five four zero zero five to join us. Points out Goodwill is filled with potential dead people's clothes. Uh, we have someone on YouTube, Cannon, that is going disc golfing this weekend. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Cannon. We know Cannon. Don't do that. It's time to grow up, Peter Pan. You're not playing disc golf. Go mow a yard. Do something good for humanity. Take those frisbees, chuck them in the river. All 61 of them. You have a lot of frisbees. Yeah. They're discs, Derek. Yeah, frisbee's the pejorative. <laughs> hey, by the way, it's Eli's birthday. You know what he got for, for his birthday? A video camera. Well, yeah. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The lotto jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for problem gambling helpline. It's the spring sale event going on now at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. 80% off Cali King adjustable base and mattress. Only $7.99. Get a free pillow and protector on purchases over $3.99. Living room starting at $7.97. And dining set starting at only $1.99. Don't forget 20% off website orders at CheapSleep.net. Don't miss the spring sale at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. Springdale, Fort Smith, Bentonville, and Conway. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Brothers Roofing and Restoration, a licensed and insured local roofing contractor in Arkansas. Since his playing days for the Hogs, Brother Alexander has been on rooftops many years as an adjuster and in the past decade as a roofing contractor. He knows how to help you through the insurance process while replacing your roof using only the industry's best materials. And being a lifelong Arkansan, he'll be here to stand behind his workmanship and warranty. Call 479-353-3877 to arrange a time for Brother and his team to inspect your roof. Guild Mortgage. Guild Mortgage. Hey, this is Joey at Guild, located at 816 North Main Street here in Harrison. Many people ask me if it's a good time to buy, and the answer is yes. Even with the rising rates, it's a great time to buy. Here at Guild, we'll give you the honest and trustworthy advice on purchasing a home. So give us a call at 870-416-3755 or online at guildmortgage.com, and we will help you through the home loan process. Guild Mortgage Company, equal housing opportunity. Company MLS 3274, individual MLS 410-478. All on social underwriting approval. Terms and conditions apply. Subject change without notice.
APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group has immediate openings in the Northwest Arkansas area. If you're a licensed CDL driver, heavy equipment operator, electrician, diesel mechanic, have paving or concrete labor experience, or experience in a quarry, apply today at jobs.crh.com. APAC offers top pay, a sign-on bonus, benefits including insurance, retirement, and profit sharing. Apply online today at jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group is an equal opportunity employer. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Sheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. Razorback fans, get ready to be a part of Hogtown Saturday, April 13th from 9 till noon outside Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. There will be live music by Gone Country, inflatables for the kids, food trucks, a car and truck show, and a pep rally featuring the Razorback Spirit Squads, marching band, and the best mascot in college sports, Tusk the Six. Kickoff for the Razorback football spring practice is set for noon. It's all happening Saturday, April 13th. Visit ArkansasRazorbacks.com for more details. Hey there, hope you're off to a great Friday. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Boy, it's beautiful out there today in northwest Arkansas, isn't it? Temperatures this afternoon will rise into the low 70s with a calm wind. Get outside, go for a bike ride, maybe cruise around in that motorcycle. Beautiful conditions today. Lows tonight only drop into the low 50s for your Saturday. Mid-70s, but a strong south wind will be breezy with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Get Ready Weather. ESPN 99.5. Giving you the entertainment you deserve. Here's Ruskin and Zach. We're back here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. It's 18 minutes until the hour. 866-285-4005. Why don't I uh, turn the phones on? Maybe someone will like to call in and be uh, on. treated rudely. Here By whom? The- you. We have n- <laughs> that hasn't happened in a long time, and it was probably Brian. <laughs> I just I don't have time for him. Well, uh, DQ, did the um, did the Globetrotters play the Washington Generals? They did. Oh, okay. did Go they ahead. win? DQ went deep diving on the Generals. Oh, yeah? Go ahead. They've lost over 17,000 games. Right. They've wow. won. They're three so and oh, seven, losing as team to ever exist in any professional sport. She has a great it's idea. Time to fire the coach. What? She has a great idea. I want to see a 30 for 30 on the generals. No. That would be interesting. Who's to me. played for them? That's we know who's state. played for the, so uh, the, the uh, Globetrotters. Theory, and I have no idea if this is true. I've done no research on this whatsoever. I think the generals might be their B team. In case somebody gets hurt or something oh, happens. Oh, you mean I, it's a scam. No, 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 no. It's, <laughs> okay. The generals aren't a real team. They are there to take the L. But I think that may be their B team. Um, you know, the, the, the folks that are coming up, like on their traveling team, the lesser known guys. And then, you know, they're, they're, they, they travel with the team. One of them, there, heck, one of them could have been Globy. There was a point in the early 2000s where the Globetrotters played like, Straight up. They played Michigan State, yep. and they lost. Yeah. And they weren't playing the Generals. They were playing like a real game. Dan Mount Itis is a 30 for 30 on the Generals would be amazing. Well, she did like I'm a, done she, with documentaries after yesterday's uh, experience, so I'm not doing that anymore. All right. So before we go on the air today, <laughs> Dr. Documentary over here, uh, who has seen every documentary that is, has no bearing on anyone's life whatsoever. Yeah. We had somebody just follow us on Twitter called Frank Abagnale. Yeah, I and know. I go, hey, Frank Abagnale. I don't know who that is. I still don't know who that is. 
You've watched the movie. Catch me if you can. I think, yes. Yeah. Okay, the central character in that movie is Frank Abagnale. Okay. One of the ga- greatest counterfeiters of all time. I see. The Leonardo DiCaprio uh, character is Frank Abagnale. I see. He now works for the FBI and and you know, was very big in check fraud. Mm. Uh, but you have no idea who this person is. No. Nope. He was on, um, what was that? Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, what? Yes. What? Yes. Oh, 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 we've distracted him. Folks. No, no, Hold no, no, on. no, no. I, um, I have an amazing. Oh, oh my gosh, I got to hear this story. Jimmy Dykes just texted me. Yeah, he was offered to play for the Generals coming out of Arkansas. Oh wow, I've got to hear this story. Okay, Jimmy, can we call you? This is amazing. Yeah. Uh, apparently he uh, he went to be a GA for um, for Eddie Sutton instead. Oh, yeah. The Generals. Smart decision. Oh no. man, could you imagine? I want some Washington Generals gear. Wouldn't that be great? You could probably find it online. Oh, I, I mean, I found a Seattle Supersonics T-shirt, so you could probably find a, some Generals gear somewhere. Okay. Am I off the hook for not knowing Frank Abagnale now? Yeah, since yes. You've been distracted you know what? Yes, since I've been by distracted. a text from TV's Jimmy Dykes. <laughs> yes, you are absolutely uh, off the hook. Thank you. Call Jimmy. I got. I have to hear the story. She can't get on the off the phone yeah. with whoever's on the phone. Hang up on that person. <laughs> now, that's what if it is order. Jimmy. That yeah, might be Jimmy. Unless it's Jimmy. Hang up on that person. Look at you barking out orders like you're in charge of anything. In here. Hey, <laughs> I just sent you Jimmy's number. Call him. I want to hear this Washington General story. Who did you hang up on? Right now? Yes, right now. Is, just, he, a, is he, he available? Yes. Yes. It's live radio, folks. Yeah, I, I want to hear the story. Do you know anybody that was recruited by the Washington Generals? No, no, I don't. I don't either. That. I've never heard of that. Do they before. have Washington General alumni get-togethers that Jimmy gets to go to? Oh. Do they get paid, or do they, uh, since they lose all the time, do they not get paid? Oh, they How does that work? I'm, I'm, a, I'm certain that they get paid How much of the lose. gate do they get? Yeah, well, I'm sure they get paid win or lose. <laughs> oh, you But I've so? got I've to hear that. How, how? Because now, I'm at some point, if you're a member of the Washington Generals, you got to be pissed. You're like, you know what? Let's beat these guys. Oh, you think your pride takes right. over as a competitor? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. He uh, he is on the phone now. Jimmy ESPN's Jimmy Dykes is uh, with us here to talk about being recruited by the Washington Generals. Hi, Jimmy. Guys, how are you? It's how good. on earth did you turn down an opportunity to be a general? <laughs> you know what? Um, so one of my main roles with Arkansas basketball as a player was I was the ball handling expert at summer camps and like uh, our pregame and our pre-practice routine, like I would lead all the ball handling drills. Like I could throw the ball almost to the top of Barnhill arena. And as it comes down, like catch it behind my back and just like crazy stuff like that. I couldn't, I couldn't play worth a darn, but I, but I had a, I was really good at the ball handling stuff. And somehow coach Sutton knew the, the, the head coach, the general manager, whatever of that globe trotters, Washington Generals organization. I just remember a coach telling me after the season, my senior year, like, hey, they so and so from the Washington Generals would like to talk to you about coming on tour with them for a year if you don't want to stay here and be a graduate assistant with me. <laughs> I, I remember talking to him and it was, it was intriguing. Like, I thought that would be a cool thing to do for a year, you know, just to travel the world with the Globetrotters, yeah. and play, play the part of the, of the guy that, you know, can't play and the whole bit. Uh, but I think my common sense weighed out and thought, well, wait, wait a minute. You came to Arkansas to get into coaching and be underneath one of the all-time great coaches out there. Why Why would you do run all these wind sprints and never get to play for four years just to go play for the general? So I, I, at the end of the day, I made the right decision for me. It got me on the right path for basketball, and ultimately I wouldn't be where I am now with ESPN, I'm pretty sure, if I'd started off playing for the generals. Yeah. yeah, but Jimmy, think about the think. You could have been part of history. The three wins in Generals history. <laughs> I mean, I maybe could have made it four. You right. Know, when, you, right. when you think back of, of how, what good a shape I was in, and how, and I'm not one to just comply with, hey, you guys are going to lose tonight, 104 to 64. Like <laughs> I probably would have fought that. I would have probably fought that a few times and said, no, no, not tonight, <laughs> boys. We're we're going at these guys. We're not falling for the confetti and. <laughs> Sticking the ball into the jersey. We know when that happens. We're taking these guys down. So 
You're right. I, that was a swing and a miss. <laughs> you could have the best. You, you would have played against huh? like Curly Neal in Metal Arc Lemon. All, all like, those guys. Yeah. Metal Arc Lemon. All those guys. That they were rolling back then. Like I know You've been he, on he ABC every other weekend. <laughs> yes. Not, like that was. You carved out your calendar on Sundays after right. church at the Globetrotters where I like it was. It was a big, big deal. But I, I don't know. I just I want to get into coaching and. But it's been a long time since on talk radio I've heard someone talk about the Washington Generals, so I had to let you know that I had an opportunity to be one of the all-time, probably one of the all-time great Washington Generals if you, if you just look at that organization. Because you can't name another guy, right? You could no. be the GM of the Generals no. right now. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. That's oh, right. yeah, well, God has a purpose in everything, you know? Yeah, that's right. That's um, right. We're getting a lot of questions here about your 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 almost uh, uh, being a general, but um, they really want to know, Jimmy, why do you listen to this? You're better than this. <laughs> yeah, like eight texts going. I know Jimmy listens to Springdale, but what is he doing? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I w- I'm planting flowers in our in our backyard. My boss from ESPN is coming down next week uh, to golf with me, so Ooh. I got at least I got at least make my yard look like that. I try because yeah. he thinks that I. Like he thinks I'm buttoned up in all areas of my life, so I got to make sure that I, my yard looks okay. And uh, yeah, other than that, just tweeting about Kentucky's basketball hire and Calipari and taking it all in like everybody else has been a great three or four days just to watch it all unfold. Uh, Jason yeah. here says that you had tremendous upside but didn't reach into your untapped potential as a general. Be <laughs> he's not mad; he's just disappointed. <laughs> no, there's no doubt. Like I was like. I could do some crazy things handling the ball. Like, Coach would put me in the game, like, you know, the last two minutes when we're 20 points ahead. And he would, his last instructions always to me were, don't shoot. <laughs> but, 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 but it's in terms of taking Alvin Robertson and Daryl Walker and Joe Klein, all those guys who ball handling drills, man, I, I led the charge in that stuff. I loved it. I, I, I ate it up. So I think that's what probably initiated the conversation between Coach and, the then president of the Washington Generals okay. could have been in their Ring of Honor. Yeah, <laughs> if they they don't have a building though. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that I mean, work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, details, details. They don't have rafters. You know what? I, I could probably be in the ring. I, I could probably be in the Ring of Honor right now just because I almost played for them. That's right. right. Yes. Right. That's what what might have been? <laughs> huh. Oh. Wow. Well, uh, we'll we'll let you get back to the uh, to the flower beds and everything, uh, Jimmy. Thanks so much for checking in. All right, guys, you're the best. See you. All right, that's Jimmy Dykes from ESPN. <laughs> Just happened to be listening while planting flowers. You know, Brett Good plants flowers. We have a, uh, we may have yeah. the, the the greenest thumbs of anybody who uh, has. Well, Brett's uh, a never dozen actually children. admitted that they lived. Um, well, I mean that's true. I mean, Jimmy, Jimmy's putting them in just because you know ESPN's coming in. Well, you got the suits right. coming in. Right. You want to make the house look nice. I understand that. Yes. That's wow, right. and almost all of famer for the Washington. Look, if you played for the Washington Generals, eight six six two eight. That's right. We'll get we'll get a reunion <laughs> game going, you know. <laughs> oh man, get an alumni game going. Oh, that was good. Mm. All right, it's uh, yeah, almost Ryan, seven Ryan minutes remembers the, uh, the Jimmy Dykes days with the Generals. No one could bounce a pass like Jimmy Dykes <laughs> with the Generals. Well, he didn't play with him. He was close. You know what? Sometimes it was right memory, there. Your memory gets a little blurry here <laughs> and there. Wow. Did you? Did they do the uh, the, the bucket stuff? Did they do all those gags? Yeah, yeah, they did a bunch. All right, there was. My favorite part was when someone was getting up to go to the bathroom and one of the Globetrotters chased them up the stairs <laughs> and brought him back down to his seat. <laughs> Sit there. And then he started a, a few minutes later, he, the same guy got up to go to the bathroom again. And as soon as the Globetrotter saw him and started running toward him, this guy took off <laughs> and started running up the stairs. <laughs> Fantastic, See, Jimmy. You could have been out there. See, I don't want to sit. This is why. This is why I don't want to sit on the aisle at anything, because they mess with that would you. Have been, that would have been. That would have been terrifying. You know, they <laughs> mess with you. I was on the aisle at that uh, Christmas Carol in Theater Squared, and like Scrooge starts dancing right next to me at one point. I got very nervous that I, I was going to be involved in I this. Guarantee somehow. you tonight, somebody at the dinner table is going to go. Did you know Jimmy Dyke? Almost the Washington General. That could be in your own personal, what did you learn today? Right. See, we help the people out. That's, That's right. what we do. Be informed. That's what we, we do. We negative now, Deborah. She said that was more directed towards me, not you, oh. which I take deep offense to. Deep, deep offense. I'm much more negative than you. That's right. You should hear it. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. All right. ESPN Arkansas, hit that line.com. Ruskin and Zach, uh, our podcast is presented by United Roofing and Waterproofing and our buddy, Joey Viviano.
who, if your roof has got a problem, Joey, yo, he'll solve it. Commercial, residential, industrial roofs. Uh, UnitedRW.com. Go uh, get your free consultation on the books or call Joey at 479 312 7369. 312 7369. It's Friday, April 12th. I'm Phil Reed. This is your 4029 News Update. The latest suspect arrested in connection to February shooting at Lake Fayetteville is due in court this morning. Police arrested 20-year-old Pablo Garcia Thursday. Fayetteville's mayor says people have until the end of the month to apply to be on the Housing Crisis Task Force. Some in the Oklahoma legislature called for a new law to put people who entered the country illegally into prison. A first offense will be a misdemeanor under the proposal. Vintage Market Day starts today at the Bend County Fairgrounds. More than 170 vendors will showcase their wares at the spring shopping event. From the River Valley to Northwest Arkansas and everywhere in between, make 4029 your home for the best live, local, and late-breaking news. You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill, 2588 North Gregg Avenue in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. On The Mark, all the games, all the time. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Lindbergh team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Lindbergh Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LindberghTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway and Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. We work to design an insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter Insurance ranked number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region five out of the last six years by J.D. Power. Satisfied customers and a plan for you. Ready to check us out? Call J.T. Finley at 479-521-4220 or come by and see him for a quote at 2142 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. Walk-ons is always a win. Whether it's a post-game celebration, drinks with the crew, or an easy weeknight dinner, Walk-ons has you covered. Scratch-made dishes, wall-to-wall TVs, craft beers and cocktails. Dig into mouth-watering menu items like po'boys, gumbo, and voodoo shrimp, plus fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. Find your nearest location in Rogers, Fayetteville, Fort Smith, Conway, and coming soon to Little Rock. Or order online or in the app. Walk-on Sports Bistro for the win. Attention homeowners, storms are firing up quickly and widespread damage means thousands are reaching out for the right roofing company. Don't wait. Get on the schedule with Shamrock Roofing and Construction now for quality and peace of mind. One call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction call 479-319-5100. Need new roof? Shamrock Roofing and Construction can have you covered right now for as low as $139.99 with approved credit. For quality and peace of mind, one call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction call 479-319-5100. Hey, Hog fans, this is Matt. This is Elizabeth. And this is the reigning champion of my own conference, Robert. You do realize that's not a thing. Well, I did receive a plaque commemorating that accomplishment. Yeah, and I was elected the president of Mars. Anyway, Hog fans, it's that time again. 
It's, it's baseball, baseball season. season. And Hog fans, the stadium shop has everything you need for Razorback baseball. From t-shirts, sweatshirts, man cave stuff, and even a Razorback original, the bases loaded beer hats. Plus, ladies, as well as a restocked women's section, we have the bases loaded beer stein boppers. Yeah, it's kind of like those old time space alien antennas, you know. Yeah, well, not really. So when you're in Fayetteville, stop by the store at 989 South Razorback Road, next door to Baum Walker Stadium, or you can shop us on them WW Interweb Face Cram. You get it, Matt. Dad, do you mean the website? Yeah. Which is shoponrazorback.com. That's shoponrazorback.com. Or call us at 479 Stadium. That's 479 782 3486. As always, go, go Hogs. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right, Ruskin and Zach continue here on ESPN Arkansas and hitthatline.com on this uh, Friday afternoon. We're watching a little Masters here. And uh, talking Washington Generals basketball. That's right. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau is playing the 13th hole, but is hitting from the 14th fairway. I've done that. So Look, if you've played golf, you've done Raise that. your hand if you haven't done that. Exactly. I mean, everybody's if done that. If you haven't, you haven't played golf. It's just weird to see it at one of the biggest tournaments in the world. That's all it is. And apparently Remember, they got it, yardage. He's 134 out. Was it, <laughs> it was speed. That was probably 10 years ago when he was, when he went two fairways over at the uh, the British. Oh, and he was yeah. like behind a he was behind a porta potty and some stands and I mean it's right in front of him. It's yeah. just uh, the wrong it's the wrong fairway. I've done it. <laughs> best best shot I ever hit in my life. I hit down at Burns Park. I want to see um, what he does here. I was see. three fair or two fairways over, uh, and knocked one with a five wood about seven feet from the cup that I was aiming at. Look at that. He he just hit it. Yeah, but, whole high like I mean, ten feet. Yeah, he's away. in the fairway. He's in the next fairway, but there's no obstruction. It's not like he no, it was bunch, wide open. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. like he went through a bunch of trees or anything. No, he did that on the first shot. Right. He was in the pine straw. Well, that's going to be one heck of a birdie if he can uh, pull that off. Uh, but um, anyway. it'll look better tomorrow in the box score. He's just trying to uh, stay uh, get par at that point. But anyway, uh, the uh, Masters underway. Deschambeau still leading by one over Scheffler and Homa. There, uh, Tiger is done, and he has made the cut for I don't know what is it the 80th year in a row, yeah. something like that. Um, uh, so he'll be playing this weekend, but he will. Uh, I I had an idea that we shoot Tiger up full of horse tranquilizers so we can get him to get shoot him like his a, absolute get him, get him like a 59 tomorrow, and he'll be in the middle of this stuff. That's that's my <laughs> suggestion. Okay, can we do that? Are they drug testing at Augusta National? Yes, Lasix and all that stuff. I don't know that they're testing for Lasix. That would be. Can we turn the other way like they do in the horse racing industry and just let let them go? We we don't care. It's better for TV. No, 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 no. No, all right, fine. Oh well, I tried. I tried, everybody, to get you a uh, Tiger in contention uh, moment uh, over the weekend, but it's not going to. Look, he'll he'll be there uh, over the weekend, but uh, there he is right there. He's. He gets to be interviewed by Michael Eaves now in the, yeah, uh, in well, the that's clubhouse. That's a step down, isn't it? <laughs> What's worse, being interviewed by Michael Eaves or us? <laughs> us, <laughs> by far. Chuck was very polite, but that is one of the great come downs of any career to go from hosting the Calipari uh, it was celebration. Polite. It was sarcastic to uh to I recognize to us. Sar- DQ. Do you think he was polite or sarcastic? Polite. Thank you, DQ. Do you think he was politely sarcastic? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It was like, no, this is great. Who are, oh, you it? guys are good. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> How long do we have? I have some exciting stuff here okay. for before we get out of here today. Um, the um, the dancers at Sammy's in Birmingham are going on strike or suing uh, or something. For those of you who don't know what Sammy's is, it's an adult club. They have uh, the finest showgirls in the South. 
Right, it's in Birmingham next to Legion Field. So. <laughs> We've got to uh, cover that story coming up oh, at some point today. Uh, I want, I have something here on these cicadas. Is that happening? And, uh, yes. I oh, thought yeah. it was supposed to happen like right after the eclipse. No, that's no, wrong. Did no, somebody like my call? Okay, the eclipse didn't work. Send in the cicadas! Yeah. And then what? Uh, they are, uh, yeah, they're going to take over. What happens and, uh, after, in, like after the cicadas, is it a drop fly ball? Just to finish us off. There's a deep drive by Castellanos to uh, make <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got, I mean, there's a few. I've been sitting on these stories all week and we haven't had time to got to get to them because we you know we've been doing sports. Ugh. Boring with that. Uh, Life sucks right now. Yeah, that's exactly. Thank you, thank yeah. You. Pretty bad. I mean, um, yeah, so we got a lot of uh, a lot of different stuff here uh, that we can get into. My favorite. Yeah, mine too, but we got to pace ourselves here. Plus, uh, <laughs> right. This man is in Montana. I don't. Know. Apparently, I I don't. Okay. Uh, he he comes, he goes. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I I don't. Uh, Did Barry- you ever get your vacation day approved? I think so. I don't know. You think Maybe. so or you know? I don't know. Okay. I'm not going to be here then one way or the other. <laughs> right? the way it is. Okay. A um, couple of updates here at the uh, top of the hour. Uh, Barry Odom got a uh, contract extension. Yes, he did. Yeah, got another 2028 yeah. out there at uh, Nevada, Las Vegas. Uh, Arkansas is not getting Donovan Klingon, the big man from uh, UConn. Okay. He is uh, going to the NBA draft, according yes. to uh, yeah, yeah, ESPN. Yeah, yeah. So uh, He's pretty good. He's a... Yeah. He- they're not you know, getting him. I, I watched him earlier in the year play Butler, and I thought he was a little stiff, but he's gotten a lot better as the uh, the season's gone on. Well, Very impressed with him. He's better needy. Yeah. So and Jimmy, if I'm wrong, just tell me. But I, I think Klingon's better. Better than Edie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's um, that's some of the updates that we have here coming in at the uh, top of the hour. The very latest information for you here from the News Center on ESPN Arkansas. Yeah, uh, Derek's still here by myself. Uh, doesn't look like anybody's going to show up today. No roster, no one, no roster movement there is yet. No roster movement whatsoever. Okay, all right. Well, we'll uh, wait to see if, uh, if anything happens while we're here, and if, uh, if they, they have a team. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got coaches now. Coaches. Allegedly. Well, uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about that here. We got a, a guy named the Chin and Bruiser. Uh, I'm on board with that. Yeah, teach think- them how to do the hog call correctly. Do the assistants have to know that? Um, I would think so. I think that's how often uh, are they in a setting where they have to do that? Look, you're gonna have to go out to. I mean, the first coaches show they got to be there, right? Do they? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Skeeter uh, calling out that Barry did the bull riding and got an extension. So um, okay. All right. That's right. Uh, uh, also, in case you haven't noticed, and uh, judging by the attendance, you haven't. Uh, tomorrow is the red white game with mm. football, so uh, that'll be a. Uh, Something much anticipated. By the way, that uh, it will be broadcast live and in living color right here on ESPN Arkansas, starting at 11.30 with your pregame. Can't wait yep. either. Quinn, Chuck, going to be there. I think it's I think it's like on SEC. I think they're broadcasting it on SEC Plus, I think. Yeah, it's it's on a uh, – it's not on an actual channel. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, we got a text on the 479. Hey, uh, Randy, can we go over the death chart for the red white game? I'll hang up and listen, please. Left tackle, <laughs> left guard. Look, if the play-by-play guy wasn't uh, sinking a whole lot of this, you know, a whole lot of his time into this, yeah, you know what? You just show up tomorrow, you root. They score, cheer, something bad happens, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll be there. Um, we'll have all that for you tomorrow here, uh, and then uh, baseball tonight. Mm-hmm. Now, I found a couple of things interesting about baseball. I don't know if anybody else finds this interesting, but I did in my uh, research. Tonight marks the first game this year Alabama has faced against an SEC West team. Is that weird or what? The first uh, h- however many weeks it's been, they've only played East teams. Well, they played three series, four series. They played what? They're, they're... Three series, four. four series. No, they played four. Eh. Strange. Um. So that's kind of odd. So this is their first SEC West opponent, and oh, what a, what a doozy to start with. Yeah, with, well, with welcome for Alabama. Well, yeah. well, welcome, welcome to the division, yeah. pal. But they're four and eight in the league, and there's just this is going to be. Um, they keep. This is not a criticism. This is an observation. They cannot be denied. They keep catching teams at the perfect time. Missouri's bad. 
Auburn was okay. Hear me they out. caught LSU in a funk. Oh, Ole Miss hasn't won since. I mean, hear, the, hear me out. Yeah. I don't think the league's that good. I think there's two or three teams that are legitimately like title contenders, and then the rest of the league's just meh. Well, I, I, think, then, I think Kentucky's then good. Then what you're saying is by dominating an SEC schedule that may be down, you could be in for a rude awakening when no, you no, move no, no, on no, no, to the no, postseason just, with better that, competition. I think, they're gonna, I think they're really good. I think Arkansas is really, really good. I don't think the league is 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 having one of its better years. So, yes, you may blow through the SEC, and then when you run up against you know some of the better teams, you may it may be more of a game than, than what you're getting right now. Having said that, um, we'll find out. They play Texas Tech next week. Um, Texas Tech's pretty dang good. Uh, you know, we'll we'll see. Texas Tech's got a, a pedigree of being a, a really good baseball program, and you know, I don't think I they, if I would be stunned if they don't sweep at Alabama this weekend. I'd be stunned. I just don't think I just, the league to me has a, Kentucky. The fact that Kentucky's running away with it in, in on the other side, you're just like, okay. Well, they have a like a three game lead. That's not exactly running but away. But when with was it. the last time Kentucky was in first place with Vanderbilt, and Tennessee, and all those teams in Florida? Yeah. I mean. The, I, I think the league may be experiencing just a tick downturn. I think Arkansas is really good. I just don't know that the rest of the league's up to uh, up to their level right now. Arkansas may be too good. Exactly. The they should just quit. You know what? <laughs> just get, do the Spurrier thing. Just give us the give us the trophy. Alabama is twenty sixth in the RPI. They're better than um. They're four Texas Tech. They're better than Texas Tech in the R. R uh, Texas Tech's thirty fourth in the RPI. Okay, what's Texas Tech's league record? I don't care. Not in this league. Well, they they're in a decent <laughs> league. Um, uh, I don't know. It doesn't say here. Well, that's Alabama. Never mind. Uh, it still doesn't say here. Anyway, I just think they're, it's, they're, they're fine. I, I the more and more I watch it, the the diff the distance between them and the teams they played pretty great. Now, I mean, they they slipped by Oregon State that went down to Globe Life. Now you can neutral site early season whatever. Um, Oregon State's probably pretty good. Rest of the teams they played, I mean, they, they gacked one up against Auburn. They probably should be undefeated in the league. In the dreaded quad one games, they're six and three. So they've played nine quality, really, you know, top opponents, and they've, uh, you know, won two thirds of them. So that's that's pretty consistent. That's pretty consistent. So um, that's a, a what is it, six tonight? They'll uh, and and the six weather looks yeah. fine all weekend yep. in Tuscaloosa. So they're not going to be ah, any problems. You, you there. hear that, boy? Nobody celebrates good weather like the person on duty this weekend. Yeah. yeah, DQ's yeah. on call this weekend. So I think we need to make the old person on duty just for old times' sake one weekend. See how that would go. Which one? The the guy that used to do this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't need. I get enough whining. I don't need more. The best start in program history. They're mm-hmm. thirty-two games. Forty nine three and seven. How are what? they going to lose four more games? They'll how is lose, that possible? They'll lose one on a on a Sunday. How is that possible? Well, I, they could lose on a Sunday when they're, you know, they're, it just it just happens. Like the offense kind of you know, is a little bit inconsistent. They could lose one to Texas Tech. I mean, they could. No, they, they we'll, could lose we'll one in the them. in the SEC tournament because Dave's notorious for not wanting to win that. Both of the Texas Tech games are uh, on actual television next week. By the way, like real real television, ESPN two and SEC Network, orig- plain old SEC Network. Okay, How about that. All right, that's a big time exposure okay. right there. That's what that you is. Could lose one in the SEC tournament. There's, there's four losses out there. Baseball's a weird game. Bounce is funny. I don't see how they lose four more games. So you think they're going to go 53-3? and three? Well, I think they will lose one more, maybe. 52-4? and four? Hmm. They're 72 well, days away from cutting down the nets. So, I mean, you got to... Well, or whatever you do in baseball. Dirt Angels? Sack the bats? I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Steal the bases? I don't, I don't. <laughs> That's right. Someone dog, should dog run out pile. there and steal all the bases when they win it. Auction those things off for the NIL oh, collection. Oh, of course. That? There you go. All right. Uh, we got uh, more coming up here in a minute on Ruskin and Zach. 866-285-4005. Well, Bet Harrison has you covered with all this stuff this weekend. You know, uh, golf, baseball. It's the last weekend of the regular season in the National Basketball Association. Yeah. Did you know that? I did, yeah. It's all there on the Bet Harrison app. And remember, uh, Vegas odds are cool, but you have to be there to legally bet those odds. And Arkansas law prevents the big, gross national apps from operating in our state. So for the most accurate and up-to-date sports wagering info, you need to be on the Bet Saracen app. Just go to the App Store, 
and download Bet Saracen or go to BetSaracen.com. App Store, Bet Saracen, or BetSaracen.com. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866 285 4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to Hims.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. Hey there, business ballers and entrepreneurs. Ready to make your financial dreams come true? Well, get ready to score big with SwishFunding.com, the slam dunk solution for all your business funding needs. Just like that satisfying swish when the ball goes in, SwishFunding.com guarantees you a seamless funding experience. Working capital, expanding your business, upgrading your equipment, or even covering payroll. If you have at least $25,000 in monthly revenue and been in business for at least one year, qualifying is easier than a layup. At Swish Funding, we fund up to $5 million in 24 hours. SwishFunding.com's team will guide you every step of the way. No more banking red tape, just quick, decisive action to get you back in the game. Head over to SwishFunding.com and slam dunk your financial goals today. Remember, it's not just a shot in the dark, it's a surefire swish. Go to swishfunding.com. That's S W I S H funding.com. Swishfunding.com. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844 PDS Door or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. At Wrath Mitsubishi, we know nobody likes feeling like they've got to fight to get a fair deal on a pre-owned car. That's why we're introducing our all-new Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. We pick the best used cars, bought locally from your friends and neighbors whenever possible. Then they get a full inspection, service, and reconditioning. And finally, we back that with a comprehensive warranty. Don't get beat up on your pre-owned car search. Hang on. Sorry about that. Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Cars. We've got you covered. Exclusively at Rath Mitsubishi. Don Tyson and 71B Springdale. RathMitsubishi.com. It's the spring sale event going on now at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. 80% off Cali King adjustable base and mattress. Only $7.99. Get a free pillow and protector on purchases over $3.99. Living room starting at $7.97 and dining set starting at only $1.99. Don't forget 20% off website orders at CheapSleep.net. Don't miss the spring sale at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. Springdale, Fort Smith, Bentonville, and Conway. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. If you're interested in continuing your involvement in high school athletics and want to make some extra money, what better way to do so than by becoming an official? For information on how you can give back to student athletes in Arkansas, please contact us at 501-955-2500. Again, that's 501-955-2500. The Arkansas Activities Association is looking for sports officials, and you may be the answer. 
When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, historic rivalries tip off with shareable bites, and every shot you take is a game winner. All season long, you're balling with 29-degree beer, courtside seats, and scenic views. I mean, where else can you pair wall-to-wall hoops with hard-to-find whiskey? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late-night bites. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. Live across Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach. 320 on a Friday and our very good friend. We can say friend of the show, Brett Cook. Yes. Good afternoon, man. How are you? Doing great. How are you guys? Uh, just living the dream. Uh, you can see Brett on our YouTube stream. Yeah. Yep. You know, Brett, is, uh, he joins us every Oops. week. We talk about all kinds of things. I have so many things I want to talk to you about this week. But uh, right. yeah, Brett's with the uh, the good team, Collier and Associates, also with the uh, Mosquito Squad. What are you doing today? Uh, you- today was real estate. Okay. So yeah, what, I, what, I what are two closing gifts? Really? And we went out and shot a video hold out by back hold 40. On. Closing gifts. Yeah, liquor. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, oh, when you put it that way. Yeah. 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 Sounds like a, sounds like yeah. a good deal to me. A nice bottle of liquor. What uh, what uh, what what shirt are we wearing here? This is my Suey shirt. Okay. It's got martini glasses all over it. All right. I like that. Yeah, it's actually. Act, yeah, it's a, it's a Friday shirt. It's a Friday I, shirt. I, I like that a little yeah. bit. Okay, so, so <laughs> I, ha- I have some questions, and yeah. um, you know, I we pe- we pestered you yesterday with NFL pension questions, uh, off the air stuff. But I do want to ask you, um, have you been following this Shohei Otani thing at all? A little bit. Okay. So, long story short, uh, Lisa Guerrero, who used to work for KTLA out in Los Angeles, uh, did weather and a bunch of other stuff. And I think she was on Fox, the NFL. Uh, uh, at one point, show. she did uh, sidelines on Monday Night Football yeah, yeah, too. Okay. Okay. Maybe during so the Dennis married, Miller years. She was married to Scott Erickson, a baseball player. And she made the comment after all this Otani stuff um, came out that you would be surprised how many professional athletes don't know how, who has access to their accounts, how much money they have, and who is spending what money. Now, you played with some guys who were at the top of the food chain. How, how realistic is it for a, a, someone to have access to your accounts and you don't notice that $16 million goes missing? Well, the, the millions of dollars missing is, is I've heard stories of guys giving power of attorney and losing their homes, not knowing that their home got sold back home and other what? like other places. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's out there. We we went through multiple meetings and they talked about they were trying to educate guys. So it, I don't think it's as much anymore, but it's still happening today. Well, anymore. I mean, it happens. Yeah. Well, I'm saying I like, mean, the bookies trying to chase Otani down. I, I bet you had 10 or 15 guys on her team used to. Really? I did that, yeah. That's and, incredible and then, to me. And then you have, which doesn't ever make public, you'll have a ton of guys that they'll fire their financial advisor slash marketing agency, some, you know, because they get a lot of power and control, and they and some of those are, are corrupt. Wow. That's just mm-hmm. absolutely – I know the way that I am, where, like, I know where every penny I spend goes. Now, I'm not tracking $16 million, but the, the idea that, that they have – almost no idea who has control over what it's crazy it's pretty nuts but it's different i guess when you have checks coming in for multiple millions of dollars i don't know what that that feeling is so <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah know, most of us don't you know and, and you're not to 
to, to say on that side, you're not thinking about the next bill. You know what I mean? You don't see, you don't get a high electric bill and then turn around and be like, oh, you know, we're, you know, talking about money from that. If you're making millions of dollars per right. check. I guess the, right. the, the, the hundred, so the hundred and one dollar electric yeah. bill doesn't affect you the yeah. same way it affects other people. Right. right. Okay. I'm trying to keep it under 50 yeah. or at 50. Okay. Or... You know what? I've taken a lot of flack for this. Not flack, just an observation. That's all. <laughs> An observation. You said it was nuts. You said it was crazy. Well, I mean, I, that's that's beside the point. Really. I have <laughs> I have a a a goal. It was just simply so I got very close one time by accident to having a a fifty dollar electric bill for a how, month. How? Candles the how? Are, oh, the, you had, you the had the how, breakers on. Yeah, yeah, Chad White candle. <laughs> the, the how is? Yeah. Am I crazy? For thinking that you know what April's a good month because you know the, the temperature's decent, you can shut the air conditioning, you don't have to run your heat. You know, to give it a, I'm, I'm only doing it two months out of the year. It's October and April to see if I can get under fifty dollars. You lived in a retirement community, you know how these wackos work. It, it was never that though. I just, <laughs> I just this week called the levelized my, my electric bill. Really? Yeah, because summer's coming. Yeah, summer. summer. Yes, electric summer. pull. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. Oh, yeah. Turn the air conditioner right, on. But, I mean, you, you but know, I understand that. If you got to. I I mean, I feel like as soon as you sign up for the co-op for the electric company, mm-hmm. it's already seventy-five dollars. Yeah, minimum, minimum. So yeah. I'm trying to beat the clock. So, but you don't have any lights on. No. Do you cook? No. Nothing in the fridge. <laughs> no. Unplug. You plug. Un, you're, are you one of those guys? Do you unplug everything that's in the outlets? Everything in my house is shut off right now. So how close did my, you get it? I got. It was. And did you confirm that by bringing a bill in? My electric bill was sixty-one dollars. Now here's the problem. Is I've got this person that lives with me uh, quite a bit, yeah, and she is the she's the problem. If I could like let let her live outside, I think I'd be okay. You have electric water heater? Uh, yes. You should just turn that off. You'll get there. I know. The oh no, no, I do. I no, do. Don't turn it back on mm-hmm. ever. Yeah, cold shower. That, yeah. That'll work. Also, teach her a lesson. Build yeah. character. Yeah. Also, <laughs> if I challenged you, if you could eat meals for an entire week for under twenty two dollars, do you think you could do it? A full meal. Three three squares a day. If I can go to the grocery store, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Am I nuts? No. Because I did that. Yeah, I can do that. See? I mean, it's all about cooking. I go get those ba- the bag of boiled eggs. And I'll eat those for lunch. Okay. It's like two dollars and fifty six cents. That's a whole meal. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of protein. Salt and Yeah, pepper. but there's a there's a there's a uh there's a, a, there's there's a backside tuna. to that. Ooh. Boiled eggs and tuna, guys. What yeah. do you think? Not That's in here. <laughs> Not Sardine. in here. Sardines. You can do that too. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. sardines. Yeah. On a cracker. Right. Sauce. I'll do the show remotely. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll stay home. I, I don't have see. I, I take a lot of flack because, you know, I'm a single guy. I got, I got stuff. I, you got to save up your money. Thank you. Yeah. See, that's what I'm doing. You I'm never know frugal. when your next date's coming around. Oh, that's not happening. No, 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 no. We're done with that mess. Uh, we're talking with uh, Brett Good of uh, Collier and Associates, Mosquito Squad. It's mosquito season. It's bug killing it's get, season. It's, it's getting close to that. We're we're almost ready. We've had, had a lot of fight to to get open there. So uh, the real estate's been keeping me busy and and helping uh, local golf course, trying to get some some players out for a local uh, tournament. Now here is Jeff in Fort Smith. He has sent us his uh, bill. He is on pace. To break fifty dollars. Oh, on pace, guy. You know what, Jeff? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. I've inspired someone. That is That's nice. Right. Yeah, just th- these are things that I do to amuse myself. I'm a, I, I get bored now, a lot. How 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 many square feet are we talking about? Uh, I've got an upstairs and a downstairs. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> it's not much. I mean, it's seventeen something. Yeah, okay. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, look, I've, I, like I have, uh, I've cracked the. I, I think if, if I didn't have my daughter two weekends a month, I could definitely do it. Yeah, but having to, you know, she's very inconvenient with dad when well, the you, lights you on. You just got to make sacrifices when she's there, right? So you're not doing your part. Oh, you're blaming this on me. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, that's fair. <laughs> you should have one of those um, <laughs> crank up generators so you can at least watch TV and you can just crank the thing up and i actually looked into getting a gas powered generator because it would have been cheaper <laughs> i looked into it put it on the back does, porch mm-hmm. does that yep. count though i mean it's like going out and getting an electric car and, and, and yeah and getting the, the generator the, the thing charge. the thing would have i probably would have spent more on the gas than the electric right but my electric bill probably would have been in the 30s yeah but you spent the same amount of money right so, so I, yeah, so, so to answer your question, no, I don't think that's fair. Would be interesting, though. <laughs> it would be. Make sure it's outside. 
yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. of you course. Just put yes, it out the back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you just rung, turn it on and 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 I'm good to how, go. How does it sound? Rung. Yeah, <laughs> we get that. Thank you. <laughs> Let's check it on that. Uh, here's a text out of the four seven nine says, "Might as well go live in the woods, man." If, again, if it wasn't for the bugs, and don't the tempt him. Yeah, I, 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 it's on the list of things to do. Uh, now, Jeff says his is only seven hundred fifty square feet. Well, if you're if you're clipping fifty with seven hundred fifty square feet, Jeff, you you can make some. I can help you. There's still cuts that can be made. Yeah, there's there, still, right? Now, how about you? You want to give this a shot? No, I'm I'm, okay. I'm doing well. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we know. He has lunch bought for him today by one of our listeners. I did. Nice. Was, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. It's Big good. deal. You can't let them do that. You buy yeah. his lunch. He does us a favor. He was working there. Oh. Yeah. Where? At the place. Okay. Can you write it down? I'm I'll go tell you later. Lunch. Oh, you I... want to go in there? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. DQ and I need <laughs> to go down. Brett, you want to go? Yeah, next week. Thomas will buy us lunch. <laughs> go. I'll let y'all know. I don't want to get him in trouble or anything. No, we haven't seen you in a couple. Uh, we haven't seen you in like two weeks. What's you been up to? Just working. Why? Just working. Uh, it's been fun. It's getting, you know, the, the spring's out. You got grass turning green, flowers. Would you, uh, I, and we're getting texts on this. Would you do me a favor? Would you turn around, look at DQ and ask her if she's uh, thought about the game? Which game? Never mind. We got it. <laughs> There's DQ. Would you care to explain the game to Brad? Have can you it, ever heard of the game? Can it be explained? Mm. Like the rapper? N- no. Wasn't there a rapper of the game? Brett, you, I don't know the Brett, I, I, no. Brett, you are asking the wrong people. The game is, is every time you think about the game, you lose the game. <laughs> so you just try to go as long as you can without thinking about the game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that like who's on first? Yeah. It, the best part is our, our texters call in and text in to make sure that DQ has thought about the yeah, game. Yeah, so I hate that loses. I've brought this up because I log. It's a mistake. I yeah. log when I lose the game. And you so think now this week on. I've lost the game like three times. But who are you playing? No one. That's well, you so play the wins? person you play the person who told you about the game. So then every time you think about the game, you're supposed to text the person who told you about the game, I lost the game. Okay. But what do you win? Right, right. You're spiraling into this. <laughs> you, there's right. no you, prize. Don't fall into this. Don't fall into this you get to keep a cool log. Yeah. Isn't right. that fun? <laughs> I love to keep logs about stuff. All right. Uh, what yeah. other logs do you? Oh, keep? like books I've read, movies I watch. I Why rate don't you them. Just keep the book on the shelf. You can say, "Hey, I read that book." Yeah, there's an idea. I like to. Solid point. I'll rate them and. Write down my thoughts. That's true. This is uh, this is mental illness. <laughs> it has to be. Really? Yeah, I think so. I, th- I think so. What about the last 10 minutes of you explaining how you live, how your lifestyle is not a mental illness? <laughs> I never said it wasn't. I like to, I, I get bored and I like to have challenges in my daily life. This He's is, just getting bored. That's all. Yeah, that is, I'm, I, yes. I, I am getting bored. Well, it is. Do you ever get a, a weather delay for the game? There is no. It's played indoors. Though. Yeah. Okay. I just no. We have to move it indoors. <laughs> okay. uh, Abner would like to know uh, what uh, we need to go through your logs on the air. Yes. Well, my movie logs, we could go through sometime. Because mm-hmm. that's on all on my phone. Are they out in the universe? You put them yeah. Out in the yeah. It's like a. It's a app. Nice. Now, Robert Spiro gets electric company. His electric company offers some daily uh, updates on where he is. So he knows, like, you know, if he's behind a little bit, you can flip on hey, a living room light. What you should do is just get some solar panels in, and then you can give money back, and you'll be under it. It'll cost you long, a lot more. Again, I, I feel like that's cheating. I like to do it under the old system. Like, if I'm going to win okay, it. Okay, then make your own solar panel. Yeah. Some foil. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Now we're on to something here. Um, so uh, Brett got to play with the, uh, with the dynamite plunger, yep. uh, which is cool, right? Really cool. I mean, DQ does not want us to uh, have any sort of explosives or anything. Uh, we we've hung some new items here in the studio today. We got uh, strikes pants are up. Now you brought us a what? what does the shirt it say? says uh, not today. Saban. Now where did and it's you got like that? devil horns on it? I got it from uh, my fiance. Okay, she doesn't need it anymore because no, Saban's not in not the league anymore. anymore. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Now draft is coming up. Yes. Um, your Packers, two weeks. Two, yeah, two, two weeks, weeks from right? last night. Two, two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, two weeks from last night. Uh, your Packers. Where where are we going? You never know with them. I mean, they since Ron Wolf came through there, they have really stayed true to taking the highest player available. And oh, that's okay. They're an of, analytics. I mean, group. that's when they drafted Aaron. That's when they drafted up to get Jordan Love. Uh, that that's just what they do. So, 
Uh, they will play play the game within the game. They do have a lot of picks, so that if there's any trades, they would have some some power there. But um, it's always interesting to see. Watch, you, I, you I watched watch the draft. The, I watched the first day. Really? Okay, yeah, so you watched the first I, round. I watched Thursday night, but then after get after that, it's, just, just yeah, you, you know, got other stuff rolling. to do. The only time I ever watched the whole thing was when my year I was coming out. Did um, you? You yeah. watched everything? Yeah, the right. whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Had nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> Out there snapping footballs and doing that no, kind of thing? No, no, definitely wasn't snapping then. No. No, why would you? I mean, sitting there waiting. Okay. So, got to be excruciating. There was a couple of times there that, you know, towards the end where I got a call from the coach around the sixth round saying that they were going to draft me. And then I got a call back in the seventh round that they had to pick somebody up because they got an extra pick. So, uh, didn't get drafted. Who but were it, they? it all worked Adam, out. Who was the team? I didn't. It was team? Jacksonville. No, it was Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I ended up going there. Okay, so I'm I'm emceeing a, a WNBA draft party on on Monday night. Girls girls projected to go in the top twenty. Um, I need some draft. What 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 kind of questions can I ask the draftee that that are pertinent? I've never done this before. Well, what what team are they projected to go to? So you can ask about mm. the city. You can ask okay. about the team. And L.A. Things the like Mystics. That. Yeah. So no, no, no. The uh, the Sparks. Sparks, Sparks yeah. Mystics are in Washington. Yeah, it's yeah. LA, uh, it's yeah. the uh, the L.A. Sparks. Yeah. You can ask about the city. What yeah. do you think about the city? That's an Family original movie. franchise yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a cornerstone franchise. Yeah. Touchstone franchise. Yes. Lisa Leslie played there. Can I celebrate as the guy with the mic when she gets drafted? Can I celebrate too? Or is that too Are much? you doing this all in a professional role or are you doing this as a friend role? Too? That's uh, This is, a, I am, a, um, I'm representing uh, the I school mean, that I mean, she is. You can is. be happy. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Can I jump in front of the camera and, you know, ah! No. Uh, less is not. more. I mean, less yeah, is more. Yeah, I mean, less now, is more. If this is the only time you ever want to do this, yes, go for it. Well, this would be the first time this has happened in the uh, in, yeah, in our fair city. Yeah, but if you do a good job, you come back. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so less is definitely so, more in there. Yeah. If I want to do it again, right? Okay, all right, good you deal. Start. You got to start something here. Right, right. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna buy with your first check? Of course, it's different now. You know, nil they get, they get money there too. Right, but yeah. but it's not. I'm assuming. Now, Brett, if I had asked you on draft night, uh -huh. what are you gonna buy with your first check? What would your answer have been? A tank? Well, I mean, I don't think you would ask me because if I. I wasn't going to get a whole lot. You know, that, I guess if you're top first round, you're going to get a substantial amount of money. And it's some people say a car, some people say a house. It depends on their background. Okay. All right. You never know what they came from. Uh, we Did you watch any of the the Calipari stuff? I did. Uh, did TV. You, my my how, uh, wife and son went down. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Did you, how do you do the call call? Jazz fingers or no? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 I had to do it. Oh, come on, You man. can't win, man. You I can't win. How are you supposed to do, like, stiff arm dead? Yeah. Yeah. Like Look, a touchdown? Here's how I envision this. <laughs> Ken, Kenny from Elkins, DQ's dad, uh, ho noted hog fan. Is he using jazz fingers during the hog call? DQ? No. Okay. That's what a, a, a hog farmer is not out there using jazz fingers. So what do you do with your hands? Well, I'm, this is my point. Is I think the spirit squads have screwed this up. You know, they're, they're trying to make this more spirit squatty. When the uh, the hog farmers know, they just roll their eyes. Spirit so squatty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was not the word I was looking for, but that's the word that that Official I totally want. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a an it's industry a, term. It's an industry term. But that I, watching you do the jazz fingers thing is very disturbing. Why? He, well, usually I have a drink. Now he refuses to do anything. He just There's a silent there. society, he, Brett, of men yeah. that stand and don't call the hogs, and we're we're okay with. He that. remains reticent. That's right. Oh, no, you got to call them. Mm -hmm. You got to call the hogs. Oh. You don't have to do it every time. Uh, Be says um, you nailed it. Stiff arms, uh, dead arms, and the uh, and then the, the the jazz fingers. Jazz fingers. I just feel yeah. like I I identify with the pig farmers Is, in the state. Can pigs see? DQ. You're yeah, the but they can't raise their head. Okay, so they, they can't look. They can't look, look up, up and see the. They can't see the. They the can't fingers. look up at the sky. I see. So they they so can the turn their head. Didn't bother them at all. Not at all. Yeah. So we really should be going low so they can see well, the uh, the gesture. What some people do who have pet pigs is every so often they'll just pick up their pig and hold them where they can see the sky. Huh. I, didn't now, know this, I think this texter's on to something. We got a text <laughs> out of the 479 on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. We need to go get some uh, footage from the 70s of how they were doing the hog call. Oh, in the olden days? I will yeah. abide by what happened when, when we were a proper country. Okay. You, when I'm did we end that? that. When does the cutoff on that? 2016. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm surprised you don't know that answer. 
<laughs> what? From the seventies, how they were doing it. Video. I know. I already know the. That. I know the answer to this question. Never ask a question you don't know spirit the answer fingers, to. Right? You know, no, yeah, absolutely not. No, no. Yeah. The spirit squads went in and ruined this, and then they got you know, then they got all techy, put it on the website that you're supposed to. No, absolutely not. They had Cal in there doing it. I'm not on board until he stops doing it. Man, mm. already, already jumped ship. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. he has. He has it's given just, up already. Yeah. <laughs> Talk with uh, Brett Good from the uh, Good Team and Collier and Associates doing real estate stuff. Doing real Out estate. busy, got the yeah. Friday party shirt on. Friday party shirt, did uh, about two closing gifts today. Planting and... flowers today. Jimmy Dykes called in an hour ago. He's I planting flowers. Planting flowers. No, my tulips are still almost, they're almost gone. So once those go, then I'll pull those and get some new flowers in there fresh. That'll be good. You, wanna, you want to get you Jimmy's number? You guys yeah, can hook up. Love, you know, so, what, what is, it's not horticulture, is it? Yeah. It is? It's so, wow. so much okay. fun. Grow something. And keep it alive all summer. It's Hide great. it from the cops. Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah. absolutely, yeah. No, exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Shot, shot a, uh, shot a video out by the back forty for a house we have listed right now. Some people going down the trail. It was, it was a lot of fun to see them, and then uh, working with uh, Shadow Valley there and Rogers on a on a golf tournament, the four ball, like an inaugural four ball going. Really? Yeah, trying to get some players. So, uh huh. Anybody wants to play, call the pro. I see. Yeah. How now? How are you a good golfer? No, I didn't. Well. I'm a I'm a ten handicap. I haven't played since last August. I played seven rounds last year. So I'll go hit some balls before I go. Play yeah, again. you just go out there. You just, just roll out there. Athlete's an athlete. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I'm gonna have bad shots. I'm gonna have good shots. Nothing's really changed my golf swing. <laughs> it's not the clubs. It's, it's not you. the clubs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You got you got to maintain. That's the biggest thing yeah. about tournaments. Well, man, we appreciate you swinging yeah, by and uh, wasting your time with us. Yeah, I enjoyed it, and I learned about the game. The game. Yeah. <laughs> the game. Now you have to introduce That's us to your I've learned this week. Yeah. We introduce it to your wife and yeah. Uh, and then you can say, Hey, did you think about it? She will look at me like I'm crazy. The... Yeah, but I'll teach my kids. Yeah, there you go. That's that's always yeah. a good idea. You, you get the you get the younger army. Rules. Right. Yeah. Uh we'll be right back. We have anything lined up? We have nothing here. Okay. All right, we'll be right Just back. Just commercials. So, Ruskin and Zach. Generating revenue for the man. That's this what we're doing. This is Ruskin and Zach. We're gonna fight on the beaches. We will fight in fields, in streets. We will never surrender. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. WT Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service. For high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators, WT Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, WTEquip.com. Hey y'all, it's Melinda at Fantasy Sports Cuts. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Cuts, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Cuts, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little men in training at Mission and Crossover in the Hart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. Are you in a constant battle with mosquitoes outside your house? Well, stop smacking yourself in the face and call Mosquito Joe. Whether it's playing ball with the kids or cooking out with friends, Mosquito Joe treatments allow you to enjoy your yard without the nuisance of pesky mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. No more itching and no more wasting time on smelly bug sprays that don't work. Visit Arkansas.MosquitoJoe.com or call 479-202-9960 to get more information and a free quote. With Mosquito Joe, outside is fun again. You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill, 2588 North Gregg Avenue in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. On The Mark, all the games, all the time. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. 
when you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Kraft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, for QC Kinetics. Hey there, hope you're off to a great Friday. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Boy, it's beautiful out there today in northwest Arkansas, isn't it? Temperatures this afternoon will rise into the low 70s with a calm wind. Get outside, go for a bike ride, maybe cruise around in that motorcycle. Beautiful conditions today. Lows tonight only drop into the low 50s for your Saturday. Mid-70s, but a strong south wind will be breezy with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Get Ready Weather. ESPN 99.5. We don't read the headlines. We make the headlines. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. The Ruskin and Zach Show. We have been streamed in now 157 countries i'm calling this one because i'm i'll, I'll get a I've 157 countries 50 states two territories yesterday we were streamed in the faroe islands now dq it is an autonomous island yeah. chain that is part of the kingdom of denmark that's where they caught king kong the faroe, faroe islands. islands is it pharaoh uh, that's the pharaoh, what they said okay, on the movie right, we'll go with faroe islands dq does that count as country number 157 i i would think so This stupid little production has been streamed in 157 countries, 50 states, two territories, and now the Faroe Islands. Yes. Uh, yesterday. Uh, you want to stream it too? It's hitthatline.com. Well, you got one of them Google Play Alexa dot things. Say, hey, play ESPN Northwest Arkansas, and uh, we'll send it to you. I didn't know I would need this material today, but I have Faroe Island material, believe it or oh, not. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, new home in, to the Ruskin and Zach. In All the right. VHS classic King Kong versus Godzilla. Uh-huh. They, the Japanese uh, businessman and his team go out to Faroe Island to get King Kong, and that's when the uh, they're greeted by the natives and they start handing everybody cigarettes. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a great scene. Have Even the kids here have a lung dart. That's uh, right. Yeah, yes. great. That's right. Cool. Yeah, they're playing music on a transistor radio and handing out cigarettes to everybody. Wow. Okay. What a what a, wow. what a film. Wow. Yeah. Well, welcome to the Faroe Islands. Right. Uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. I did. I didn't I pick, I, pick that up at Toys R Us out of the uh, out of the VHS bin at the end of the aisle one time when I was a kid. I was looking at the little map and there's this little dot. Where is that? And you know, it's it was in the middle of the ocean, so I figured it was somebody on a boat or something. Like we get streamed in the uh, the Persian Gulf all the time. Uh, there's a, somebody from Springdale who, uh, who who's in the Navy and he'll listen to the show when he can, but. This was uh, on a little island out in the middle of nowhere. Looked it up. The Faroe Islands. Made in 1962. Okay. Not the 1930. No, that's the Faye. That's the original. Right. This is a. Uh, this is King Kong versus Godzilla. 
And uh, I don't know much about it other than the tape was in the uh, in the bin. This <laughs> this may seem like a stupid question. Um, now I I'm not a big monster movie fan. I like you know I I like the the goofy ones like you know the uh, the Sharknado stuff. But wouldn't had it have been easier for Godzilla and uh, King Kong mm-hmm. to just go? You know what? Let's wipe all these people out, and we'll just split the place up. Right? Wouldn't that have been easier? Why did why did they have to fight each other when they could have just said, you know what, and turned around and, and killed all of us? Yeah. I uh, the uh, movie, by the way, mm-hmm. much like uh, one of our favorites, Skadoo, you can watch King Kong versus Godzilla on YouTube. Okay. And I'm looking at it right now. There's a scene where uh, King Kong fights a an octopus, a big one. It they looks like it looks like a trash bag, honestly. I mean, it's not great special effects it's back in sixty two. I know. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's fighting an, an octopus or a squid or whatever you call this thing. It's got eight legs. That's an octopus, right? Uh, now he's throwing a rock at it. Big rocks. Yeah, yeah. But I also uh, I found the scene where they're uh, handing out cigarettes to all the uh, all the people on the oh, island. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You know what? The Faroe Islands. If I yeah, these are um. Are, DQ, do you know these uh the birds, the puffins? I love puffins. Oh really? Hold on. How can you love puffins but say birds are not real? Mm. I love puffins. They're so cute. They look like penguins. They do. And I just love them. They fly. They do fly. They peck. They're so cute. And they're real. Puffins are real. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this oh, is great. Dennis of the 479 bursting our bubble. He says, sorry, guys. It's a territory of Denmark. Update the totals. Now, is that like Puerto Rico? Because Puerto Rico is Puerto Rico is a country. Yeah. Still. Yeah, but we own it, right? Right. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's still... a U.S. Ter- like Guam. Guam. Um, Guam. If well, we're going on in Guam, sir. Because look, if it's a Gu- territory. If Guam, if, if we've been streamed in Guam, if that, if we have, to, if I have to go back and recount all of this, I'm not going to be happy. I'd say one. They count two. Oh, okay. Show three. of hands. Does it count? Is is it a country? All those in favor say aye. Do they aye. have a king? Uh, what do they have? Denmark does. I don't think the Faroe Islands do. They were ruler, emperor, prime minister, alderman, mayor, yeah, mayor, <laughs> constable, anything? Yeah, anything. Who's in charge here? Uh, sorry, Dennis, we're going to count it. On the local level. You know what? Count it. Count it. Basket's good. We're counting VAR it. is confirmed. Okay, there it is. Uh, day drinking out of the 501 says, uh, fake things can be cute too, Zach. Just ask my ex-wife. Should have read that before, uh, before I read that. Well, they got you there, didn't they? Uh, here's a text out of the 479. Uh, y'all should go on a world tour. Do a show from every country you've been streamed. You know what? If we uh, pulled the company's money, we would get to Decatur. <laughs> we might make it. Yeah, on the company budget, we would get to Decatur. We might, get, yeah, might make it to West Siloam. <laughs> uh, Abner saying it's not a country. Nobody asked you, Abner. Yeah, what, what do you care? You know what? I don't like you guys being negative. It's Friday. Yeah, what's with all the negativity? Yeah, on, it's supposed guys. to be nice this yeah. weekend. Why is everybody all right. honked off? It's going to be really, really nice. Basketball's outside. fixed. Right. Football's got Petrino. Well, Baseball's it's... number one. What more do you want? Uh, basketball and every player. Go. You greedy punks. What do you want out there? Seriously. Man, give them an inch. They want a mile. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Kids today, I've got a, uh, I've got the uh, crowd reactions, and we could go through those at I some point. I think we should at to. some point. You want to um, do that? Yeah, we should. We also have our uh, Sammy story. The uh, the girls of Sammy's in uh, Birmingham are going yeah, on strike. I'm very interested in this. Or suing. or the, there, There's some sort of legal action going on there. I'm excited so, uh, about this. Uh, I, I would like to do this. Yeah. Have you noticed, and this is just me, Hutch reminded me of this. He just posted a, uh, a story on Best of Arkansas Sports. Um, Hagen Smith, left-handed pitcher, starting mm-hmm. to look more and more like Randy Johnson. And I don't mean from a baseball standpoint. He is oh. starting to, if you look at the latest thing that uh, that Hutch just Maybe put up, this. he's the, the mullet is working. He's got the mustache. He's starting to look a lot like Randy Johnson. Okay, hold on. I want to see what he put up here. Hmm. Am I wrong? Uh, yeah. I you see it? I could see that a okay. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Has he hit a bird mid pitch yet? Had, though? Not yet. Well, that's one yet. thing missing, glaringly missing from the resume, is uh, hitting <laughs> a bird mid pitch. Yeah, that is that is a uh, that that's that's not on the resume. But you know what? Hey, there's still time. I don't know how many pigeons are going to be at uh, Tuscaloosa today. Well, you never know. Yeah. I mean, it is a uh, it's it's Uh-oh. one of those days. Now, so. Here's a text of the four seven nine. Count it number one fifty seven. That's our kind of listener. Just want you to agree. We like that yeah. person, right? Hagen Smith. Uh, this says not even twenty one yet. 
Mm, he's going to be a that. very wealthy individual here. Yes, he is. Let's see here. Yeah, he's not even 21. Wow. Can you he's, imagine? He's going to be the number one pick. Can you imagine having the world by the you know what's and you're not even 21 yet? No. Holy mackerel. No. Pretty good. Right? I don't know, Derek. I don't know. Maybe you should know. I've been the back end of that pantomime horse for years. <laughs> Oh, we got crap. Oh, somebody just got nailed in the crowd. Oh, they got hit. In it. Yeah, Uh-oh. we got Pete. Man down. Man down. There's Bryson. He yeah, probably won't even apologize no, for doing no. it. No, he should have been sitting there with all the other patrons. Yeah, they shouldn't have been sitting there. All right, we'll be back here. Now they got to move their chairs. You know, they put those chairs out at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Now they got to move their chairs. <laughs> Great question, DQ. Lose was your the, spot. Was the bird that Randy Johnson hit real? Good question. That's a great question. I don't know. I, well, microchips didn't go flying. Feathers did. I'm Chip Scarborough in the 4029 Newsroom. It's the start of a warm and windy weekend across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Temperatures climbing into the upper 60s and low 70s on this Friday, cooling down with temperatures dropping into the 50s overnight before warming back into the 80s on Saturday afternoon. Tonight on 4029 News, meteorologist William Morrison is timing out the chances for another round of strongest severe storms. Well, there's a major project underway in the city of Fort Smith to prepare for the arrival of the first fighter jets in a few months from now. 4029's Brett Rains will be live in Fort Smith tonight to detail the project and explain the important deadline. And Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice is now out of jail after turning himself in in the Dallas area last night. Authorities say Rice was driving a car involved in a high-speed crash in the area that injured at least four people. I'm Chip Scarborough with this live local late-breaking update. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lodge today. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Looking for a new home in the heart of Northwest Arkansas? Head to the Cottage at the Park. These beautiful homes by Buffington have direct access to a 120-acre park and offer maintenance-free yards. That means free time can be spent watching the hogs, traveling, playing in the park, or just enjoying a weekend without yard work. For relaxed living at its finest, Cottage at the Park is the best move you'll make. Visit BuffingtonHomesAR.com slash hogradio for details. Are you ready for some football? Well, the 2024 Brandon Burlesworth Football Camps will be here soon. Learn the game of football from Razorback greats at these half-day camps that are open to students aged 7 to 15 years old. Camp dates are May 31st at F.S. Garrison Stadium in Harrison and June 1st at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock. Early registration is just $45. And remember, enrollment is limited. So register today at brandonburlesworth.org. Sign Studio is the source for complete visual marketing, so don't let the name fool you. We're not just signs. Sign Studio is your all-encompassing partner for advertising success. Need a logo? We'll design it. Want it printed on pins, cards, banners, or even tablecloth? We'll do it. What are you waiting for? Kickstart your brand with our custom products today. 
Visit YourSignStudio.com or call 479-250-4844. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenics Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again at work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text BIKE to 321-321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text B-I-K-E to 321-321. That's BIKE to 321-321. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. All right, we're going to uh, spend some time here in Alabama with a couple of stories in this uh, four o'clock hour on Ruskin and Zach. Uh, DQ's got the weekend review coming up in a little while. Don't. Do that. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that was a tape. I'm sorry. I got thrown off. Yeah. I got thrown off uh, as well. Um, it's like, so a long, long, long time ago, when someone was on the phone on a radio show, you had to put a beep in every few seconds so they knew that they were on the air. Right. It's like we have to do something like that with all these uh, mm, drops. We yeah. need to put some sort of indication. So the audience, because you're you're uh, you're deceiving the uh, the customer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, you're gonna complain to the feds or something about that. Well, you can play his stuff. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I have a low IQ. Yeah, that can stand alone. Yeah, that's a sta- that's a standalone right. statement. That's right? that's right. Yes, that's surprising. Yes, uh, I have. Uh, I'm I'm looking at Hutch's thing on tonight's uh, game here on uh, Best of Arkansas Sports about um about uh, Rob Vaughn, not Ricky. Rob Vaughn is the head coach at Alabama. And this is a very odd um, uh, analogy. Now, remember, Rob Vaughn got this job because their real coach was betting on baseball and Does had to be fired. He's doing tonight? Brad Bohannon? Just out of curiosity. I think he's it. selling TVs at, no, uh, at Best no, Buy no, no, or something. No, I, meant, uh, I meant on the line. I mean, oh, I don't. He's going, I don't care what he's doing. Oh, I don't I know. Know, what, you know what You he, think he's still playing? What, what does he think? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's moved on to... Uh, to uh, Churchill Downs, perhaps, or something like that. I don't know. No, he's probably he's a good ass kick, and I'll be very honest with you. Probably at the dog track. Let's be honest. Well, um, that's a that's a whole other thing. Yes, it is. Oh boy, betting on high lies even worse. Um, so high lie the other day. Did you wager wager on it? No, 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 no. Uh, I, there, why not? It was being streamed. Yeah, uh, I, I forget what it was being streamed on, but it was live high lie. Live and high lie. I watched probably thirty minutes because I was just fascinated by high lie. How about that? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, again. Here's what uh yeah. here's what uh, Rob Vaughn said about uh facing um uh, Hagen Smith tonight. Quote, if a wolf goes up against a buffalo one on one, it's going to get knocked off its feet and taken care of every single time. If we try to attack Hagen Smith on Friday the way we have these last four games, it's not going to go well. He's going to have some fun with our guys if we do that. Collectively, the way wolves hunt is they surround the buffalo. One grabs one leg, one grabs the other, one jumps on his back, and finally one guy up and grabs him by the throat and brings him down. 
That's how they hunt. That's how they survive. That's how they eat. That's how our offense has to work. I don't quote. think I understand baseball very much. What? Sounds like uh, we need to get Hagen Smith a police detail <laughs> if they're going to jump him. Is that that's their plan of attack? Is to attack the, the guy? I mean, come on, he's not even twenty one yet. You can't be you can't be uh, you know you can't be choosing violence that, today. That right there is a Wiley E. Coyote moment. Like he was trying to make a point that that they couldn't they they couldn't um, go right at him. I understand. But boy, then he got out off. The, I mean, he got ahead of his. He got out over his skis. Yes, and, he did. And he realized that he had fallen off the cliff, and yeah. he was just waiting. Then to, he just kept going. And he kept he going. doubled down to and finally you know end with. That's how we eat. You know what? <laughs> give, give, give him credit. I mean, he was committed to it. He committed and to the bit. Yes, he saw that thing all the way to the end. I <laughs> would love to hear the silence in the room after. And, he yeah, made I'd that love statement. to hear this too. Yeah, me <laughs> and too. Then somebody yeah. go, what? Yeah, I'm huh? sorry. I'm sorry. I I didn't get all that. Can you do that again? <sighs> yeah. So uh, we may see that tonight where someone jumps on Hagen Smith's leg. Someone grabs the other leg. Someone jumps on his back and then someone grabs him by the throat. <laughs> that's how Alabama's going to take care of it. Huh? Okay. Well, that's a uh, interesting approach. I mean, damn it. I wish you well in your that's, quest, sir. Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> it seems, it seems a lot. 5.30 tonight for some of you on the uh, radio and on the Hit That Line Now app or uh, that. Now, um, the will, moment- they, will they creep up on him? Like guys coming down by the tarp? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, like real silent crowd starts. It's to- going to be very, very difficult to pitch if he has to be worried about being jumped at every second of these on the mound. Yeah. So that this is not, you know, this is not the worst plan of attack. Uh, no one else can stop him. Maybe this is the yeah, way to do it. That's how you do it. Um, They're choosing violence tonight okay. at, at Sewell Thomas. <laughs> Okay. Now, staying in the state of Alabama, if yep. we may, uh, Dateline Birmingham. Yodely. Thank you. Two dancers at Sammy's are suing their former employer over an alleged socialist tip sharing system. Uh oh. This is at Sammy's in Birmingham, featuring, as they say on the sign, the finest showgirls in the South. And um, are you telling me that? The strip club owners are a dishonest lot. That's uh, not been my experience, no. But uh, the uh, lawsuit, the lawsuit claims in Northern District of Alabama that club owners force a socialist economic system on the dancers, mandating they subsidize their coworkers. Um, during their time being employed by the defendants, plaintiffs were denied minimum wage payments and denied overtime as part of the defendant's scheme to classify plaintiffs and other dancers as quote independent contractors the uh they're they're citing the department of labor saying this is a scheme mm. meant to cut costs and avoid compliance with labor laws the uh, dancers won a hundred grand from sammy's gentleman's club in birmingham how many uh how many plaintiffs are there uh two there's two, two plaintiffs two women and yes. they are Filing a lawsuit, a joint lawsuit together for a hundred grand, which yep. then, which they are then going to split, yeah. which is exactly what the club is doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Elf. Yeah. Think of the taxes. <laughs> You're good. only getting like 20, yeah. 20 grand right. after that. Right. Now, Sammy's uh, is uh, located near a uh, Legion Field, and the only there, the only way reason I know this is because in nineteen ninety two, the retired Rube. When we were in Birmingham for the like where this is going already, but when uh, we were in Birmingham for the SEC tournament, he decided to uh, either get lost or go on a driving tour of Birmingham I don't, in the daytime. I don't know which one it was, uh-huh. but we end up by Legion Legion Field. Okay, and uh, then we like turn around and we're like leaving a parking lot or something, trying to get back on the road, and there it is, Sammy's, Sammy's. featuring the finest showgirls in the South. I'll never forget it. It was 32 years ago. I'll never forget it. So let me see if I, (laughs) just so that I understand this correctly, your father took you to a strip club. In the daytime. Well, all of us. The whole family was in the van. He took your entire family to a strip club. We think he got lost. We're not quite sure. I just know that we were there and um, in the daytime, turning around in the parking lot. No one was at Legion Field. It was March. Uh, because we were there for the SEC tournament, which later that day we watched the Shaquille O'Neal get thrown out of a uh, basketball camp for. Uh, but he had to go to the for, strip club first for tackling Carlos Groves. What? He, but uh, he had to go to the strip club. It first. wasn't open. It was in the daytime. Well, maybe it was. You don't know. <laughs> well, it, there. I don't remember that part. We didn't go in. Obviously, I was 
nine when this happened. Uh huh. But yeah, I remember the sign, Sammy's mm. finest showgirls on the south bottom. So whether you're trying to win a bass tournament or you're just trying to get a bunch of white bass strippers, the uh, stripers, excuse me, <laughs> he's ours. Oh uh, well. Wow. They they call this an illegal tipping pool. In the uh, in the paperwork, they have to share their tips amongst the club staff as they're, part of a quote illegal tipping pool. But they're independent contractors, right? So I don't think that works that way. Well, that's that's what they're claiming. Uh, well, no, I'm I'm on the side of the strippers. I'm always on the side of the strippers. I think a lot of places do that. Yeah, that tip seems, sharing. To be, seems to be illegal. This could be one of those cases that is cited as a precedent. I can't if wait. they win. I oh, can, they're they're going right. to set the precedent. I cannot wait for the Supreme Court to take this. Well, on. Your Honor, as uh, we learned in Dancers versus Sammies, uh, this is not a legal practice. To uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's in one of those big books that's on the well, wall. You know, also right? citing Johnson versus Magic City. That's right. In, in 2018. Uh, you know, uh, Your Honor, as you'll remember in the uh, in the uh, case uh, Cinnamon versus Sammy's, uh, this was proven to be an illegal practice. You know, real name, aka oh, Cinnamon. That's you know, DBA right, doing right. business as Cinnamon. It's, a, <laughs> it's plaintiff number one, aka Cinnamon. <laughs> wow. Rule number one in life, folks: don't make your name your vocation. That's rule number one, isn't it? Rule number one: Don't I, uh, make your name your vocation. I I, 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 sand off the edges on that, but yes. Um, if your name is Jeeves, you're gonna be a butler. Don't be named Jeeves. But when you're <laughs> when you're naming your kid, don't give them a don't give them a profession. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Don't name your kid Gilligan. <laughs> That's right. No. Are they <laughs> making Gilligans anymore? I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> ruin that I'm name. Just, I'm just saying you you don't uh, you don't do that. <laughs> A lot of names have been ruined by uh by oh, yeah. people, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gilligan. Yeah. There's been a few. <laughs> <laughs> Couple here That's there. Right. Yeah. Names we don't get anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, no, I <laughs> think know. of a few. Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Not a lot of Benito. Well, there may be no. some Benitos running There's, around. Yeah, there. Benito Santiago. That's right, of course. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> uh, you know, there's only one way know. out of this, right? Uh what is that? For the Knicks play tonight. Well, they played the Celtics last night. What? They did? Yeah. What's wrong with the Celtics? Oh, man. No, it's what's right with the Knicks. Limping into the playoffs. It's what is right with the Knicks. Limping into the playoffs. Uh, Kevin and Harrison points out we aren't making a lot of Ornithals anymore. <laughs> no. No, no. no. That's no. one. No. Do you know, by the way, this oh, this is sort of similar to yeah. Alabama, but not really. I saw this in the uh, paper somewhere today. Do you know where the Bronco is currently? Las Vegas. No. It was in, it was in a like a, a, a casino lobby. Since 2016, the Bronco is in an automobile museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Is it really? Yes, it okay. is. That's right. I saw it today. Wow. Yep. Well, that, Pigeon they, Forge. That's got to be a big attraction, right? Well, Pigeon see, Forge, oh, there's a couple of things in Pigeon they're Forge. They're like the Branson. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, Dollywoods yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the might, Titanic. And again, I'm I don't I don't have a marketing degree, but I've done some marketing in my time. Yeah. If I don't know where the Bronco is, your marketing department is not doing your job. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah. if it's in Pigeon, that's on the east side of uh, Tennessee, yeah, it's in the right? mountains, yeah. up, up near Dollywood or something yes. up yeah. that up that way. Yeah. Oh, the Smoky yeah. Mountains. Yeah. <laughs> What a journey that vehicle's had, man. The most seen car maybe in the history of America. Because you got, a, you know, 90 million people were watching that car yeah, chase. Yeah, I was one of them. And that's just, um, that's just like televisions. Like, and not many people were alone watching that. There are probably 10 people, five people in the room. So you got to say there's at least more than I that. Know, I know we can't do this, but I would love to start polling some of the people that were hanging out on the overpasses, cheering. <laughs> I'd really like to go back and talk running to, down the yeah, street. I'd like really like to go back and talk to a couple of those people. Man, what this is the thinking? 30th anniversary it this is, June uh, of the uh, of the Bronco chase. It it's a day day before my mom's birthday, June 17th, 1994. But yeah, that is in Pigeon Forge. So if you're ever in Pigeon Forge, uh, you know, I'm, I'm go see the Bronco. I'm, I want to go see the Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. You can check it out. <laughs> check it out. 
Yeah, that was, uh, uh, was pretty good. Only, didn't they split screen the chase with a baseball game? No, it was basketball. It was game, game five of the NBA yep. Finals. Yep. The Knicks Rockets from Madison yep. Square Garden. Oh, wow. And of course, the famous story Bob Costas tells is that uh, OJ was calling 30 Rockefeller mm-hmm. Plaza, the studio, yep. to try and talk to Bob Costas. But uh, Bob wasn't in the studio. They were doing the uh, anchoring from the garden. So he was at the garden. He wasn't at 30 Rock. And some like janitor picked up the phone and was like, this is who? <laughs> OJ? Yeah, right. He hung up the phone. Thanks, pal. But OJ called right. NBC during the middle of that, and uh, they wouldn't put, they couldn't get him on the air because they weren't uh, in the studio. That story Bob Costas tells. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's a good story. Yeah, who can yeah. believe Bob Costas? It's a good story. It's a good story, anyway. Uh, right. Here's a text. If you watch the Bronco Chase live, please schedule your colonoscopy. You know what? That's not it's funny. A, it's a good point. That's not funny. <laughs> Shut up. Take a lap. Yeah. Weird, wild stuff. That was the uh, was the time, but yeah, that's where the Bronco is. I, I didn't know that. I, I, I didn't. I heard it was in a like a uh, in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I uh, guess it was, and now it's uh, in Pigeon Forge. Okay, I might be scheduling a trip. I don't to know what Forge else this museum has, but that's a pretty big centerpiece right there. You know, the uh, the white Bronco, <laughs> which was Al Cowling's car, it wasn't even yes, OJ's, it was, right? Yeah. Well, it was identical to OJ's was car. It, was it AC's? I think so. Did we lose Al yet? Uh, maybe. He was definitely not in the OJ Made in America no. film. He was not in that. No, he's but, still Al's still hanging on. Uh, Goldman's dad is still alive. Yeah, yeah. Fred. Yep, yep. He's still alive. Don't hmm. think he'll be sending flowers to the uh, to the gravesite. No, no, no. Apparently, according to page six, OJ ran a bunch of cash only businesses to avoid paying all this stuff. So yeah, he's a scumbag. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty he's a creep. much. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was reading, side seats. I was reading that today, and I, normally I would probably be horrified and shocked, but I'm like, no, this is on par. Well, that tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this, this all tracks. Yeah. All right. Uh, it was nice to see the Heisman uh, Trust uh, honor him the other what day. What on earth are y'all doing? That was a bold strategy. Yeah, that was that was something. You know, this is why I'm not a Heisman voter. It's uh, you know, crappy behavior like that. That and they won't give me a vote. Right. That, yeah, that, but mainly, but mainly, it's because, a principle right, thing. So, so you're taking a stand. That's right. I'm right. I'm standing on principle here. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, all right. Well, on that note, uh, we'll have more for you uh, uh, coming up here. 866-285-4005. Here's a text that claims that the uh, the uh, gentlemen's clubs are about to go away. This is going to turn into a class action. If you have danced and been <laughs> had to give up most of your tips, you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> okay. That'd be something, right? Whole industry goes yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That unbelievable. Would, boy, some of y'all wouldn't have anything to do. What, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? Uh, Austin from Scott County. Hagen is a big boy. They better pack a lunch. Okay, talking about the uh, right. the wolf attack. That I don't they're planning think I don't it. think they're going to attack. But I think it was being. <laughs> what he I think, said. I think it was it was a oh. metaphor. Oh, that was a metaphor. Yeah, it was a metaphor. It wasn't a simile. It I was a metaphor. It was a metaphor. Okay. Okay. I, I think I think it was a metaphor. Um, I relax. I, I feel like he'll be safe tonight. It'll be fine. Okay. Six o'clock first pitch, oh, yeah. SEC plus, and on many of these fine stations you're listening I could to. Use now. A good ass kick, and I'll be very honest with you. That guy was in Alabama too. Yeah, he was. Beecham County. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Down in Wazoo, Ma. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> at, at the sack of suds. Yep. All right. Uh, Tyler. Yes. Very excited that he's now going to get his tips back. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Uh, all right. Oh, speaking of harming people, uh, mm-hmm. Smack Daddy. Wait, you mean Brandon Miller plays on the baseball team? Hey, listen. They don't forget, do they? No, they don't. They don't the forget. Never forget. All right. That was a good note to end on right there. That's pretty good. Yep. Solid Lance, effort. Lance with a great question. Now, I would like to serve on this jury because I would like to, uh, you know, we take a field trip to look out, to look at the working conditions. <laughs> right. Yes. Maybe a day trip. You'd like to be the rural juror? <laughs> <laughs> the rural juror. Uh, excuse me, Judge. I think we're going to have to go to the club to check out the, during working hours, of course. To see the uh, to see jury will now proceed yeah. to the to uh, Sammy's <laughs> for further a, deliberation. Up in a school bus, <laughs> twelve people get off. A couple of women with the purses. Right. All right, we're going to the strip club. All right, here we go. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the only way to really get a full. Now, I mean, this might be a bench trial. It might not uh, be a. Uh... Well, we don't even know if it's going to. Trial. Oh, you got you got to have a jury for this. this oh, you want a jury I, trial? I, and I for would this like, lawsuit. Yeah, you know what? I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to volunteer for this if you don't mind. I really don't. I tell you, you, I tell you what. Whoever is uh, the people at Sammy's, they they need something like this uh, thrown into uh, Sebastian County. Where one of our judges could, uh, right. could get yeah, this then case. We got it. If they could get this case. You're you're uh, they're in good shape there. Oh God. Here it comes. <laughs> All rise. Of course. Really? Really? <laughs> All right. Uh... Well, guys, on that <laughs> note, let me pause here. Guys, I'm going to genuflect and come down to your level. Right. It's uh, 19 after the hour here. Ruskin Attack on ESP at Arkansas and on hitthatline.com. The Limber team is here, and they are ready to help you. If you're looking to sell your home in our area, the Limber team, they're the experts you need to get in touch with. They can help you go from selling to sold. David and Nancy went with the Limber real estate group to sell their Springdale home. The team's unparalleled knowledge of the local real estate market and innovative marketing strategies generated significant interest in the property. There were over 20 showings in just a month. Limber Real Estate Group's expert negotiators then work closely with potential buyers and close the sale swiftly. Successful transaction, a testament to the team's unwavering commitment to delivering exceptional service and results to their clients. The Limber Real Estate Group, the Limber team that sold over $1 billion in real estate. The agents I would trust if I was selling my home. You can find out more. In fact, you can uh, go to limbirdteam.com and click on Home Estimate and get some real insights. It's Tara's Home Value Estimator. It's a game changer for sellers. You go to limbirdteam.com and click on Home Estimate. Find out what your home is worth in seconds from the Limbird Team. L-I-M-B-I-R-D. Limbirdteam.com. Limbirdteam.com. Or you can Google Limbird Real Estate Group. And check out the over 900 five-star reviews. It's all at limbirdteam.com. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty McClartyDaniel.com. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, ever feel like you're carrying around a backpack full of bricks, that sluggishness, that weight, it's holding you back from being your best self? At Boxy Aesthetics and Wellness, we've got the game changer you've been waiting for, semaglutide compound. Imagine shedding those pounds, feeling lighter, and regaining that confidence you've been missing. But let's get real for a second. What happens if you don't take action? That backpack, it gets heavier. Your health, your energy, your zest for life, all weighed down. Why choose Boxy? Simple. We're not just about weight loss. We're about transformation. Our tailored programs, expert guidance, and weight loss medications combine to offer you a personalized path to success. And fellas, listening on ESPN, 
This isn't about vanity. It's about vitality. It's about reclaiming your game on and off the field. Are you ready to drop that backpack and step into a lighter, brighter tomorrow? Choose Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness. Choose transformation. Choose you. Go to VoxyNWA.com for more details or text us at 479-274-8454. That's V-O-X-Y-N-W-A.com. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. That's why we work with you to design an auto, home, and life insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter is known for our award-winning customer service, satisfied customers, and a plan for you. Shelter Insurance. We are your shield. We are your shelter. Call JT Finley at 479-521-4220. Or come by and see him in the heart of Fayetteville on College Avenue. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, one block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. Absolute Janitorial Service is a family-owned and operated commercial cleaning company serving all of Northwest Arkansas. We have a long track record for exceptional service and clear communication. We clean multiple facility types, including office buildings, medical facilities, manufacturing plants, churches, schools, and much more. Give Absolute Absolute Janitorial Service a call today for a free quote and see what an absolute difference our services can make for your business. Hey there, hope you're off to a great Friday. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Boy, it's beautiful out there today in northwest Arkansas, isn't it? Temperatures this afternoon will rise into the low 70s with a calm wind. Get outside, go for a bike ride, maybe cruise around in that motorcycle. Beautiful conditions today. Lows tonight only drop into the low 50s for your Saturday. Mid-70s, but a strong south wind will be breezy with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Get Ready Weather. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. It's Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, go to the McCarty Daniel hotline here. Razor Bacon is uh, on the phone. Hi, Razor Bacon. Good afternoon, fellas. Hey. On a dark, crooked highway with no time to kill, he had to get there fast to pay it bill. He pulled up to the arena. Yeah, he made it on time. The crowd was already gathered in a very long line. He walked in the back way like so many times before. He stopped to admire 
Nolan's name on the floor. But there's one big difference for all to see. Where it once said, but Walton, it was changed completely, he said. Welcome to the Hotel Calipari. Such a lovely place to win first place. It'll get plenty loud in the Hotel Calipari. From the tip of the ball, the crowd calling those hogs. Three strikes. I'm out. Razor Bacon with the Calipari song. Welcome to the Hotel Calipari. And of course, as you all know, you can check out any time you'd like. You but you can leave. never leave. Yep. Wow. Warm <laughs> smell of Kalitas rising up through the air. Mm-hmm. Wow. Razor bacon. Okay. Well done. He doesn't call often, but it, that's because right. his calls are quality, not quantity. That's, that's why. Right. Man. Wow. All right. Okay. It's official now. Yeah. He's the coach now. He's got a song. Everybody can uh, everybody settle down. There, there were people like up till he took the, the stage who were concerned that he was not going to make it. Yeah. Well, not not. From a health standpoint, well, yeah, I mean, not, he would not leave. The no, nobody's seen him since, but you know, whatever. Did we even see him at all in that time? Was he a, a, a AI? He may have, may have been an illusion. Been. <laughs> wow, there it is. Welcome to the Hotel Calipari. Such a lovely place. I wonder how long he's been working on that. A few days, probably. Oh, well, I liked it. He's getting uh he's getting hate on the text. These people don't have any taste. No, none. None. Zero. None. None. No, none. No taste. No taste. No class. Uh B you wants to know are we snapping or clapping? Because it was the song you clap. You clap. Okay. Mm-hmm. His poetry gets snaps. Got it. Okay. Snaps for poetry, claps for music. Got it. Here's a uh, text. Rack him. There it is. Uh, Joe and Pavel says, I haven't heard you guys talk about how excited the Kentucky fan base is for their new hire. Do you think they are jumping through the roof? Look, they're not going to win the press conference, but who cares? They also, might win a bunch of games. Also, you, know, you never and, know. Actually, Jimmy pointed this out. He's been um, he's been having some fun with the Kentucky fan base today. Um, you hear from the noisy 1%. It's the 99% of people that no matter who the coach is, and you'd be the same way, that would support the coach no matter what. It's the noisy people with the with the avatars on on the the socials that are making all the noise. Marco Pope is a good coach. Is he a big name? No, but if he wins one, look, Kentucky made Tubby Smith a national champion, made him into a Hall of Fame coach. Yeah. You know, the resources are there. He's going to be fine. They're going to be good. Are they going to be up to the standard? And you know, how long is that fuse? How long does Mitch Barnhart have now? Because pressure's on him. You better get this one right. You better win. Yeah. All right. It's uh, 28 minutes until the hour. We'll uh, hit the drive home coming up right after these words. This is Ruskin and Zach. And our fan base, again, is obnoxious as on social. So everyone hates us. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Jersey Mike's, locally owned and operated in Rogers, Bentonville, Fayetteville, and Springdale, believes in the value of ingredients, premium meats, the freshest vegetables, and delectable bread baked throughout the day. And then there's the juice that elevates your sandwich to the highest level. You'll taste the difference in every bite. Jersey Mike's subs are perfect for catering the office or your next tailgate party. Their cookie and brownie trays are the perfect finale to any type of gathering. Fresh baked daily right there in the store. Jersey Mike's, the best submarine sandwich on the planet always. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger is a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right. That's real important. The golf game. Right. As we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments, all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics regenerative medicine is regenerating me all natural and that's what i'm about i'm gonna tell everybody why i'm better oh and by the way it looks like the competitive satch is back we're all in the same boat and i'm getting better and i'm watching them stay old go to qckinetics.com get relief and your game back call for your complimentary consultation call qc kinetics 479-999-1234 that's 479-999-1234 479-999-1234 
tougher than the first shower after a sunburn. They're the new Mahindra tractors at Tatum Motor Company. New Mahindras are heavier with more built-in weight, so you can push more, pull more, and lift more. Your new Mahindra will always be ready and capable. These tough Mahindra tractors are proudly made with steel, not plastic, so you'll never be envious of the other brands. Plus, with the new Mahindra, you get up to a seven-year powertrain warranty on most models and 0% financing on select models for 72 months. That's six years, no interest. If you're looking for a new tractor or tractor package, check out the new Mahindra from Tatum Motor Company. You can even call for a quote before you head down. Tatum Motors promises they won't be undersold. Tatum Motor Company in Anderson, Missouri and Tawnytown, Arkansas. I'm Paul with Tatum Motor Company. Visit us online at TatumMotor.com. We join the smarter guys at Stiff Plumbing and HVAC. People sweat when it gets hot. Dogs don't sweat. No, they pant when they're too hot. When your air conditioner dies in the Arkansas summer, your house gets hot. You don't want to come home to your dog panting and giving you that look. Get an air conditioning tune-up from Stiff Plumbing and HVAC. We clean winter dirt and grime. Check the motors, the relays, the start capacitors. We'll get your system ready to cool your whole family from the summer heat. Call 751-9691. 751-9691. Or online at stiffplumbingandhvac.com. Tune in again next time to hear Zach say, I hate it when my dog gives me that look. Yeah, me too. On the next episode of The Smarter Guys at Stith Plumbing and HVAC. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Hey, y'all, it's Melinda at Fantasy Sports Cuts. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Cuts, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Cuts, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little men in training at Mission and Crossover in the Hart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. ESPN 99.5. The most influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Life sucks right now. No, everything's great. It's great, DQ. Tegan Smith night. What are you turn, talking turn about? Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Well that said. That is not true at all. Oh, it's uh, your drive home here on Ruskin and Sack, powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? Give us a jingle. Or just use this one. You don't have to put up with any malarkey call 888 Eight Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. Every stereotype that you have towards French people, it's true. Uh. <laughs> Look, another player has rung the bell. That means he did his personal best. Yeah. Top dog. Whoop pig. Dog. Uh, we've got to do the uh, the practice report yes. uh, at some points. Well, it's more of a walkthrough today. You know, they're playing tomorrow. Right, 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 you can't right, practice right, right. Well, you know, we, game. we like to call it a practice report. We do it every day here on the Rust yeah, Man's right. Show. Uh, Sam Pittman uh, spoke to the media about uh, some of the things going on. Offensive line issues, back issues, running route issues, tight end issues. I hate them. 
<laughs> Poor DQ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this one is. What is it? It just says clay. All right. And I'm afraid that to... I don't play it. What is it? Because I know that you put in. No, I didn't put those in. Are you sure? No. I saw in our system someone mm. put in something about what he said on Monday. Oh, uh, with the cat yeah, in the bag. Okay, and, uh, right, you let right, the cat right. out so of the I bag. Fear, I'm scared that that might be what that is. All right, I know what this is. She was an angry lady. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that is. That's true. Yeah. I don't think that matters. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to short DQ on her uh, week in review time, yep. but I do want to address this before we get started here. Uh, Big Mike is uh, claiming that um, there are um, people out there who say the moon had nothing to do with the eclipse on Monday. Uh, DQ, would you look up the probability that the moon had nothing to do with the eclipse? I'm just. I mean, it was the moon doing the eclipsing. Right. See, it was in the way. The way it works <laughs> is the sun's over there, right? Yeah. And we're over here. Right. And something comes in between us. Yes. Right. That was the moon. Right. And when they line up perfectly, you get right. an eclipse. Yes. And why they were the same size is because the sun is further away. Right. So in perspective, they Big look word. the same yeah. size. Yes. They're not actually the same size. Right. The, the sun is much larger. Right. But it's 93 million miles away. Right. The, the moon is not 93 million miles away. It's a few thousand miles away. Well, I think, right? couple hundred thousand is it a hundred thousand yeah. whatever yeah. like like hey if i drive 33 miles straight up i'm in space i know 56. that much <laughs> 56 yes okay like tokyo is a couple thousand miles away okay all right all right okay few i said a few thousand 10 20 uh, 80 i don't know what you, while you're at it, would you google how far is the moon from us <laughs> thank you <laughs> 238,900 miles all right there you go okay yeah a couple hundred thousand Okay, but okay. it's but you see this is perspective, right? Like you know, uh, let let me dumb it down for you people. All right, you know how everybody goes to Pisa and takes a picture of them holding up the tower. Yes, they're not actually holding up the tower. That's called perspective. They take the picture at the perfect spot where they're the same size as the tower, which they're really not. But in the picture, it looks like he's taller than the tower. She look or is taller than the tower, and they're holding it up. That's how perspective works. That's what the eclipse was. Moon, sun, one's further away. That's why it looks what smaller. What is the than uh, percentage uh, that the moon had nothing to do with the eclipse? None. Okay. 0.0. 0. It had everything. Okay. It had everything. It was the it, star right? of the show. Okay. All right. You ready? <laughs> Only yeah. it was a rock, not a star. All right. DQ's Week in Review. Here we go. Okay. This one is kind of a, sh a short one just because there's been so much basketball talk this week. Yeah, it's been a pretty bad Not week. Not a lot on, of goofiness. It's been a bad week on the show. Um, but we will start with I googled card my yard prices <laughs> and did I must say extensive research trying to find how much these things cost. Uh huh. And I was still never given a super direct answer. That's, They're very secretive that's, on that exactly is very how much they cost. Marketing, DQ. Yeah. Not it, telling like, you what the price it is. It starts at $100 basically. Okay. Okay. Goes up from there. <laughs> okay. Okay. This was a text that we got. Good. Um, I will sponsor you for three cents a day. Oh yeah, it was like uh, about? oh yeah, you were in your um, poverty phase, and uh, your poverty pe era. <laughs> pe yeah, your era, your your poverty era. You know, and uh, people were offering to sponsor you, like uh, a child in uh you know, a third world country or something. Mm -hmm. well, that's not right. <laughs> it was for the... <laughs> Hold on. I got to get out of the screen because I can see what's coming next and I, I don't want to do it. It was okay, for the ahead. potato diet specifically. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, first of all, I, I took on a lot of water for that. You and, did. And again, it's not that I am living in poverty. Courage. I am, I am simply trying to, uh, you know, cut back on some bills. Courage. Yes. Courage. Okay. Karahe. All right, go on. Uh, My favorite Google of the week was probably G5 jet price. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, that's, yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah. the Tyson jet that went right. out to get yeah. Coach Cal. Oh, and please. then what quickly followed was Gulfstream jet price. Yeah. Which is the same Both thing. new and used. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to shop. I mean, to compare. Right, you got to shop. 
and like uh, your favorite new vehicle, you lose at least 20% oh. the second you the drive second it, you off, drive the it off the lot. Yep. The second it hits the air, That's I mean, right. you are... Question. You, uh, you clear the tower, it's going down. This may seem like... I, somebody may know, somebody may not. I mean, you have to test drive. Like, before they, they roll the airplane out to the uh, the dealership or whatever. I mean, you test drive it, right? I, mean, you, I think you just walk around it. Oh. Like, okay. it doesn't really matter. Like, it's going to fly. Maybe. Is it? Yes. You just you're more interested in the accommodations, you know. Mm. Where's the bar? How many bathrooms do I have? All that sort of stuff. Yeah. You work for Boeing. How oh, big I, are the oh, chairs? Oh, it's gonna fly. Don't worry about it. Well, okay. it's not Boeing. It's Gulfstream. Their their doors don't fall off. It's also um, why their planes are hundreds of millions of dollars. Apparently, I also <laughs> had to Google what does it mean if your big your second toe is longer than your big toe. <laughs> Means you're uh, from Roman uh, Roman nobility. Right. That was kind of all the or goofy. Just a genetic freak. The goofy googling that's, we did. That's my answer. Um, impressions of the week yes. were two Frenchmen laughing, <laughs> <laughs> and Coach Zimmerman on two times speed. Oh man, yeah. Those were the notable impressions of the week. Okay, <laughs> I'd love to. I'd love to have him uh, reading a book. The Catcher in the Rye, written by J.D. Salinger. I like his taste. As read by Matt Zimmerman. Yeah. <laughs> it's a baseball book, uh, Chuck. Uh, Abner wants to know if you're buying a new Gulfstream, do you kick the wings? <laughs> yeah. Well, there are tires. You can well, kick the I tires. Mean, landing gear. That's not central to the uh, to, to to you know going anywhere. I would bet you don't take it for a spin. You just walk around in it and How go, yeah, this is nice. DQ. You're. I mean, you 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 test drive it, right? Well, but it doesn't matter how it really. Private planes, don't they all like handle when you're at that level? I'm not talking like, you know, one of these private planes where you got to put headsets on when you drive the thing. Yeah, it kind of seems like it would be a hassle to test drive the private plane because, you know, you got to you got to get the traffic control. Cleared. You, you got to get the you got to yeah. get the green what light else for all you got of this to stuff. Do? You're, what yeah. else do you have to do? If you're, I mean, your day consists of going and test I mean, driving. You your find if you're a doing pilot. that, if you're doing that, it probably, you know, only. You can only test drive two or three planes a day. Yeah. Well, that can't I mean, be good you for go sales. Up, you they got a showroom. A yeah, that's the other thing. Is I mean, where do you, are they where in? Do you, are they inside? Where, where, do, <laughs> where do you go to buy a plane? <laughs> go to the showroom. <laughs> to go by your local Gulfstream we, dealer today. <laughs> I know we sound like rubes, but we're not in the. We we don't know. Well, this is not our. Uh, this no, is not this our, is not our wheelhouse. Our Private jets right. are not our. Uh, not our. Uh, our specialty here. Ah, now here's a text out of the four seven. We're more of twin engine people. Th this guy sounds like he knows. They just invite you to sit behind the controls and they make plane noises as if it were That's actually flying. The simulator, right? They shake the chair every now and then to make it feel like <laughs> right, you're right. Really turbulence, going. turbulence. Right. I'm Roger Murdoch. I'm the co-pilot. Uh, Ryan and Prairie Grove says his father-in-law tested one out two weeks ago. Yeah, he tested out a crop duster. This is different. Those are weird, too. You ever been driving down a, a two-lane oh, road yeah. when those come oh, I around? Almost, I almost wrecked in Dumas because I was watching a crop duster. It, like, it, it feels like field. that scene in North by Northwest where Cary Grant's running right. from the plane or whatever. Right. It's, it's Cary Grant, right? Yes, it's Cary Grant. Okay. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's kind of freaky. They go right over the top of you. Like, oh! We, were, we had a crop duster when we were driving to St. Louis up through northeast Arkansas. There was a guy out dusting the crops. Great question from BE. Does a new Gulf Google this. DQ, does a new Gulf Stream have new new plane smell? Oh yeah, of course. You know they sell that stuff well, now see. in like a can. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same thing. No, I mean, it's, it's not, not it's not genuine new car smell, but right. it's close. No, it's not the same. Right? Ned, Ned, do you have to like you interview the pilots? Like if you're just well, riding, don't the you, pilots work for you? Why don't you That's have your own? Wouldn't you have to? But don't you have to interview them? Yeah, yeah, they're your pilots. You're just getting they, the plane. Are they like? Do they come with you? Do they come with the plane? Or are they like standard? No, no, no they work you for you. Oh, they're, they're sold separately. You yeah. have okay, cool. you hire the pilot yeah, as like it. as like you would hire you know your assistant. Speaking of over our skis, yep, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do we know about this stuff? Nothing, absolutely nothing. No, I think yeah, though the pilots work for you, and uh, that's um okay, that's how that works. So you know, and you're like you call them, I'm like get the plane ready, we're going to such and such, and they're like okay, boss. And they go out there and they get the plane ready. I know this is going to sound and probably get us in trouble. Did you ever watch the documentary on Trump's pilot? There, there I, I was, did not see that. It one, was no. actually it's really interesting. I Just, watched one on um, 
when he was president on the Secret Service and how they uh, were on Air Force One the, and how they uh, how they handle Air Force One, like when he goes right, to a foreign right, right. country. Th- this like was that. this is a private plane and, and whatever. Um, but they were ta- they were getting ready to mothball it because you know he was going to be he wasn't going to use it for four years and they were t- and the, the things that this guy had to go through. And you know he's flying zigzagging across the country, and the chaotic nature of of what a pilot, a private pilot's life life is like. Uh, and then he was unemployed for four years. Yeah, nice, yeah. N- nice work if he can get it. Yeah, yeah. The um, no, but they uh, in in his um, in his, I think it was in his time, um, they got a new Air Force One. Yes, like it was time to uh, update. So they were working on you know making sure they had everything they needed for the new Air Force One to uh, have it technologically you know up to snuff yep. unlike the old air force one which you know they're you know had a couple of tin cans in there oh i i think it was a little bit more <laughs> i watched i watched the movie i know yeah. i know what's uh what was on yeah. air force one yeah it's interesting uh all right uh let's see here 11 of the hour your drive home is powered by mr sparky here 866-285-4005 is how you can join us on the mclarty daniel hotline uh let's see what's happening here um Here's a picture. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. How much does it cost? Oh, and here's another thing. This mm-hmm. is a this is a joke um, that is not funny. <laughs> what a setup, right? If two guys like both like part own a plane, you know, like two, you know, you know they're partners uh, on owning a plane. When the plane breaks, it's not funny for one of them to go, "Well, that's your half. It's broken." <laughs> they don't like that joke. No, they no, don't like that. Joke. No, they don't. Yeah, I, I knew some people that uh, they were uh, partners on a plane, and the plane was broken. Well, it's your half broken, not mine. Uh, Tyler <laughs> Tyler Greenwood claims that Harrison Ford was the best fictional president we've had. No. Uh, Jeff Martin, Bartlett. Martin Sheen, anybody? He was the longest serving television president. He was also the best. President Bartlett. He did all eight. I'm just saying, I. I've been rewatching The West Wing. Well, okay. Well, you're then, you're biased. Then. No, I mean, I, you're, but you're, I love that show. There's a recency bias. Yeah, you're the recency bias. No. Yes. I've watched the show before. Have you watched Air Force One? No. Then how would you know? It doesn't matter. You don't have to watch anything else to know that Bartlett is the best president. Bill Pullman was the best president because he actually flew a fighter jet at Independence Day. Yes, he did. No other president could fly a fighter jet. Hang on. Harrison Ford threw terrorists, Russian terrorists, off of Air Force One. Okay. Well, but Bill Pullman kicked some alien ass in Independence Day. Who was, in it the was plane. wasn't it Morgan Freeman? He was the um he was the president in um oh what was that uh, one where the meteor was coming at us? Independent? No, no. Um, I don't know. The I one know, with, uh, I know what you're talking. The one about. with Liv Tyler, Liv Tyler in it, right? Armageddon. One, Armageddon. That's it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Morgan Freeman, president. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you've never seen Air Force One, but you're ready to pass judgment. Mark the Jean. West Wing is a great show. I didn't. I, I'm not arguing that one point of the with best. Mm. All right. Hmm. Uh, Ricky and Greenwood going with Daniel Day Lewis uh, as Lincoln, as Abraham Lincoln. But yeah, see, he, he was playing an actual president. These guys are playing made up presidents. Is the difference? Like, yeah. Now, now that we, I guess we have to differentiate Did, um, fictional presidents. Yes. Yeah. You, yeah. That's right. He was actually Jack playing Nicholson Lincoln. in Mars Attacks. Oh, of course. Great. <laughs> you ever watch that movie? It is one of the great cameo appearance movies yeah. of all time. The fun little uh, little journey there. It's terrific. Uh, uh, yeah, here's a great question out of the 479DQ. If you could Google this, uh, when you renew your tags for the plane, do you just put a sticker over the new ta- of the old one? Yeah, I wonder how that works. Yeah. So thought. What about uh, Lloyd Bridges in Hot Shots <laughs> as the president? That was pretty good. Was he in Hot Shots Part 2? Uh, probably. Well, he had the 10 ears, remember? Oh, he okay. Clean his ears out. Right. What about Mel Brooks in Spaceballs? He was President Scroob. See, there you go. <laughs> With DQ, those little DQ, cans I think of oxygen. Presidential his... knowledge is pretty lacking. Why didn't anybody <laughs> tell me my ass was big? <laughs> That's a fantastic film, also. Spaceballs. Spaceballs is great. Merchandising. The, right. Where the real money from the movie is made. Yeah, that's a commentary on a lot of things going on in the what about, what about, coloring book. What about Kevin Klein and Dave, where he was the imposter president? It's a fun little movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did a lot of good things. Got $800 million from the federal budget. Save a shelter. 
Well, now we now we've gotten into it. Uh, <laughs> now we've gotten into it. Jamie Fox was the worst president. He let the White House get taken over by terrorists. Here's another Spaceballs text on the yeah. McCarty New Hotline. What kind of idiot makes their briefcase password one two three four five? <laughs> the same as my luggage. <laughs> oh, uh, D- uh, DQ uh, Mitchell is suggesting Daryl as president in the Michael Scarn movie Threat Level Midnight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's you wear, yeah, yeah, you need to watch some more presidential movies. I like the ones I watch. She likes President Bartlett. Okay. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't great. I'm saying expand your horizons a little bit. All right. Your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky here on Ruskin and Zach. We done? No, we're not done. Not done. There's more. More, I tell I you. I guess it's coming up. Oh, yeah. Balloons for the kids. We got all kinds of right. uh, excitement on the way here. 866-285-4005. Now you join us here on the uh, McCarty Daniel Hotline. Stick around. We'll have uh, we'll check in on what's going on in Augusta and some other stuff coming up after the break. Chip Scarborough in the 4029 Newsroom. It's the start of a warm and windy weekend across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Temperatures climbing into the upper 60s and low 70s on this Friday, cooling down with temperatures dropping into the 50s overnight before warming back into the 80s on Saturday afternoon. Tonight on 4029 News, meteorologist William Morrison is timing out the chances for another round of strongest severe storms. Well, there's a major project underway in the city of Fort Smith to prepare for the arrival of the first fighter jets in a few months from now. 4029's Brett Rains will be live in Fort Smith tonight to detail the project and explain the important deadline. And Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice is now out of jail after turning himself in in the Dallas area last night. Authorities say Rice was driving a car involved in a high-speed crash in the area that injured at least four people. I'm Chip Scarborough with this live local late-breaking update. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and, of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limburg team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limburg Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimburgTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. Need new roof? Shamrock Roofing and Construction can have you covered right now for as low as $139.99 with approved credit. For quality and peace of mind, one call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction, call 479-319-5100. Supply issues are no issue at Shamrock Roofing and Construction. As one of America's largest roofing companies, we stocked up early and we stocked up big. We can do your job right now. And because we paid less for our material, we can share those savings with you. Call today or visit us at shamrockroofer.com. You know how they say April showers bring May flowers? Well, I'm about to bring you some awesome chalkboard specials for Fish City Grill. The beer battered cod tacos, what I just had in their house-made beer batter, comes with slaw, pickled jalapeno, cilantro, and those delectable sweet potato fries. What about the miso glazed salmon, the sugar snap peas, the Asian cabbage slaw, the lemon basil rice, and the miso glazed sauce on top? woo Is that good? Come on by and see the Brundages today in Fish City Grill and Rogers, where they're serious about their seafood. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. 
with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. One block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market. 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. Country's hottest rising star, Riley Green. There was this girl. Ain't my last rodeo tour. Saturday, April 27th, Walmart M. With Tracy Lawrence and Ella Langley. On sale now at amptickets.com. Riley Green, live. KAKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Hey, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we had a, uh, a beef involving baseball and not me on the uh, internet wow so, uh, okay. we, i want to uh, i want to bring that up here in a, in a minute um yeah top dog uh, this is uh ruskin and zach this is esp in arkansas and hit that line.com your drive home is powered by mr sparky need a licensed electrician to service your home give us a jingle or just use this one you don't have to put up with any malarkey call eight 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 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. They have petitions everywhere. What? Everywhere you go, there is someone with a petition. Boy, she was an angry lady. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man. That was a request, by the way. Somebody had said, well, oh. put those two together and, and see if it works. Now our long distance Man. dedication. You were angry. Man, that was a uh, angry. Of- now, tomorrow's farmer mar- uh, farmer's market wars. Oh yeah, that's you, right. You're yeah, going to that... the, you're going to the grand opening. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am. DQ, yeah. will you will we be signing petitions? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'll, I will not. I'll sign. A I few. will be asleep. I'll but... sign a few. That's okay with me. Uh, I've got. Uh, let's uh, let me let me find this thing. And while I do that, because I saw it yesterday, uh, let's uh, go to Joe and Avoca on the McQuarrie Daniel Hotline. Yes, Joe. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, uh, now that uh. Oh, uh, OJ has passed away. Mm-hmm. I would like to know who's going to carry on his search for the real killer. <laughs> Great. I don't know. Is, is there somebody else in line or what? I'm, I'm curious. I guess we'll never know, but you know. But. Oh, I think we know. I think we know. <laughs> huh. Oh, yeah, on man. the birds, uh, 
my uh, father uh, used to run a oh a uh, uh, fishing thing out of San Diego. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, charter. When I was a kid, like from six to well, I don't know to ten or something. After you'd come home from or get in the back to the marina from fishing, you'd have to clean off the boat. And my mom was out there. Uh, we we just washed off the boat, you know, swabbed it all down, and he was drinking her a coors, and a seagull flew over and a uh, let fly, and it went right in her hair and her mouth. He got a swig of. Seagull, you know what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the worst time I ever had with a bird, the uh, most embarrassing time, uh, we were camped out in uh, South Padre Island, and uh, I I'd got drunk. You know, I was an idiot. But anyway, I woke up in the morning, and uh, staggered out of the tent and on the beach, and there's some seagulls flying around, and I, Picked up a rock and I just swung it up there and hit it right in the head and one killed it dead in a hammer and there's all these kids standing around and I didn't try to I just threw it there you know <laughs> uh oh that's when you want to go uh, crawl into a shell but anyway I think Calipari is going to win like a son of a gun yeah. at least I hope so. Okay. And uh, you guys take care. All right. Have a good weekend, Joe. There you go. Joe and Avoca on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. There it is. Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, um, hmm. you know, Hog Twitter eats its own or Hog X or whatever we call this now. Right. Right. They, you know, they eat their own there. Yeah. It is a, uh, it is, um, Special place. <laughs> special place. It's, it's, it is a it is a special place. Yeah. I can't abide by special people. I cannot find the exact. Uh, well, uh, just just paraphrase. Well, what happened was there was one of these people, and again, uh, also another thing that Hog Twitter does is they do a great job of amplifying morons. Well, there's a guy on here with 226 followers, and um, if you follow baseball, so Parker Rollins having a difficult year. Uh, he's hitless in league play. He was playing the other night in a midweek game. And uh, one of these idiots um, uh, on the internet uh, goes after him and says he is the worst player in Arkansas history. Now, oh. this is a uh, this stupid thing to say and um, and uh, not true, uh, but he said it. So then uh, I was um, I actually saw this while I was posting our podcast thing yesterday on the Hit That Line X page. And... Uh, Parker Rowland's mom, I believe, or someone oh, related to him, no. got after this idiot. No. <laughs> Called him, you know, all these uh, oh, clean, didn't okay. curse at him. Okay, all right. Called him clean names. And, of course, this guy is, uh, you know, probably loving every minute of the attention mm -hmm. he's getting, including right now, because uh, he's, um, uh, you know, uh, being talked about. But uh, that's uh, I heard by dozens of people. That's right, yeah. But uh, he is, uh, yeah, he got uh, here from, I can't find the exact uh, uh, thing, but uh what she said was really uh, was a good response, considering the stupid thing that that person said. So um, it was a uh, it was I, I should have uh, saved it, but you did, but I didn't, and uh, now here we are, Just scrambling, stumbling through this. <laughs> thank, right. thank you for uh, thank wasting for, time. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> professional we're, time wasters. We're, we're gonna less. run out the shot clock. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm dribbling it out right. right now. You know, like the end of that Iowa women's game. I'm just dribbling the clock out. I don't, I don't, I don't. Um, but it was. <laughs> That was um, it was a nice response to a uh, imbecile on the uh, on the internet. So I, I, I have I, I have I have enjoyed X is the worst of us. Um, it, oh yeah, it, it's it's the one percent making a lot of noise because it's a print that ninety nine percent of most normal people would yeah. just sit idly by. They may mumble to themselves, but they're not going to hit send. Yeah. Jimmy was um, he was trying to rationalize with some of the Kentucky fans the Mark Pope hire, and they just were not having any of it. Yeah. And you, the more you you talk to these people, you realize that these are the dregs of our society. Uh, they are the people that are not the brightest. They mm -hmm. want to pretend to be the brightest because they can. They have nothing to do, and they can sit there and you know hit send more than you can. Um, right. 
Yeah, and they're, but, because they're unemployed, they can reply to every slight yeah. all day, every all day, all day, every day. And, they live for uh, it. and it's, just and they you can never get the last right. word because you have to go about your day with a career there, or a family, and they don't. There so. is no last word on the internet. That's right. There's never a last word. Just let it go. Yeah, just let it go. Now, mo when mom's gets involved, you need to stop talking. Well, I think it was mom. I, I couldn't okay, quite. But, tell. But I'm, I'm pretty saying, sure. As yeah. a general rule. If you say something about a player on the internet and then moms gets involved, no. stop what you're doing. Right. Delete right. everything. Move on. Yeah. What you I mean, you, you made mom mad. Yeah. Come on now. What are we doing here? Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, maybe they uh, it deleted it or something. I don't know, but I saw it yesterday and I thought, well, that's a, that's a good, that's a good way to handle um a situation like this when you get a you know an, an idiot on the uh, you know on the I internet found out and, and i have a a personal twitter account now but i don't i have no one follows me i will not everything's on lockdown i just am able to go in and look at the accounts that i want to without a bunch of other stuff this is where it's, you put your really uh anti-american views right where no one can i find have them. exactly <laughs> zero posts zero retweet nothing there is nothing there i don't follow i follow 11 accounts that, my name's right there. I mean, you bought you Alex search, Zero, you, one you of them. I'm probably I'm joking got, around. I've folks. got like 600 requests. I'm not going to accept any of them because I don't want my timeline cluttered up. I follow like the people that I need to. This is how I get information. Yeah. Um, but it's a very yeah. I, I get it. I mean, you can get into these these spirals with with some of these people. And you're just like guys. Oh, I, you can't get out. You can't get out. It's pointless. You it's just a, have to. You have to hit the eject button and get out because they have nothing else to do. Yeah, it's totally pointless. Um, and you know, I mean, it, it's just, you know, that particularly in that sport, like, you, you know, the thing that I've learned about that sport that I think, um, a lot of people, a lot of people casually follow baseball. They don't really know baseball here. It's not a knock. It's just the way it is around here. Cause you know, some didn't grow up playing baseball. I didn't grow up playing baseball, but here's the thing. Like if you're on a team, like. You can never like write anybody off because you never know. It's always that guy that you'd never expect that gets the big hit in the mm -hmm. big game or, or, you know, goes three for four or throws somebody out or, or whatever it is. You can't just unilaterally after 20 some odd games go, that guy stinks. You, you can't do that. Uh, it, it's a, it's a game of failure. I mean, that's just the way it is. Well, you, um, if you fail seven out of 10 times, yeah. you're still going to be a hall of famer. Right. Right. It's just it's the one like, you know, in basketball, you can watch like 10 games and you can tell who can play and who can't. Right. Like we could tell with this basketball team here last year, um, there wasn't a lot of talent there. All right. We, we knew that. But with baseball, I mean, it's just it's 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 random, but sort of not random in a way. I don't know. You just can't you can't do stuff like that. Um, so that's um, that's what it is. All right. Uh, your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky here on Ruskin and Zach. 866-285-4005 is how you can uh, get in touch with us. So um, that's what's going on. You got uh, Arkansas and Alabama mm -hmm. for some of you coming up. Uh, Phil will uh, join you live from Tuscaloosa at the bottom of the hour on some of these if, stations. If I did this right. Well, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> mm. we'll, uh, we'll see. Yeah, it might not work. Uh, you never uh, know. But it might. There's you know, always there's... a chance that I got it right. I haven't, I haven't had any problems today. It's gone kind of well. DQ, you got big plans this weekend? You're on call. No. You know, I got you. I got you this weekend if you did. I have I don't not, really I, have. I have, yeah, I have nothing. What are you doing this weekend? Anything fun? She and I have nothing going no, on. No, no, not, uh, no, I don't think so. You're just going to sit on your butt, watch TV all weekend? Pretty Some much. movies I want to watch. Need what do you get want? My oil change. That's really? Good, that's good. Yeah. I need a haircut, you know, the, the usual stuff. You know, exciting. I, th I think I'll bake some cinnamon rolls. Like, or at God, least try how to. old are we, people? Yeah, look at, at us. At least try to. I live living the life. I need to live vicariously through someone now, this week. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Well, you're you're free this weekend. You I am, but want. I'm not doing anything. I'm, I've got. Well, a, you could change. No, that it's tax weekend. Second. I got to finish my taxes tonight and get them in the mail, and then I'm going to clean the house. That's my weekend. DQ, will you make a grilled cheese this weekend? Well, I made one last <laughs> night. Oh, good. Yeah, it was good. I did have a. A fail grilled cheese, though, at the beginning. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta have a. a it a, stuck a, to a, the pan in a way I did not expect, and so it just messed everything up. How? Well, <laughs> it was the pan, or I didn't spray it, and sometimes that goes wrong. You know, you know yeah. how it is. No, I don't. No, 
Yeah, he has a lot all... of scraping of cheese off of a pan. Okay. DQ, he doesn't know. He has all nonstick cookware over there. I, I do so. have oh, nonstick yeah. cookware. That fancy stuff. I love that stuff. From William like, Sonoma or whatever. See, La Crusade. You, listen, <laughs> nonstick cookware is idiot proof. Yeah. That's why I have it. It's idiot proof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do practice grilled cheese calories count? I did take a bite, a couple bites of my practice one because I was a little hungry cooking the rest of this. But uh, it, but you had a you had a a, a demo a sample what right. do they call that a a, a trial I don't mm-hmm. know but like big that. Mike says use butter not spray I didn't want to use butter it she burns, used mayo it used it burns sometimes yep. mm. so you uh went with the um, I went with the Pam spray oh uh, there it is yeah. I got you all right, all right. What else? does anybody else have anything have we covered everything that is about uh yeah. all of it I mean that's uh. That's about uh, all there is Matt Nisco say. says, I heard someone say that they want mayo on their grilled cheese. Is this weird? No, sir. You use it instead of butter on the outside of the bread, and it's what you let touch the pan. It will change your perception of the grilled cheese. It's completely different. Unless they're eating grilled cheese with mayo in it. No, you don't do that. That's, that's weird. No, 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 that's, no, no, no. That no, would no. be that would do really that. gross. No, that's like wearing like Ty wearing a jumper to uh, whatever outing he's going to. A romper? To. Yeah. Uh, a romper? What's the difference? A jumper is a sweater in it, it in, is with British people. It is that's what British people call sweaters, jumpers. I didn't know that. The Brits. Okay. Learn that one today. Uh did not know that. Okay, uh, this update. Uh Scotty Scheffler is your leader at Augusta National at seven under par. Uh DeChambeau and Homa are done. They are at six under. And uh Hoygaard is a four under i don't know this guy's name the uh you spell it uh he's uh he's uh norwegian or something but they spell it with the o with the line mark through it which yes. i think is hoy yeah we'll run with that hoy guard yeah i took uh i think four, that's what he, i took I th- a foreign language not that one i think that's what Vern said that i'd run with it i think that's what Vern said we're gonna go with what uh what Vern said it is his last masters after uh for 40 years so uh nikolai he's danish hoy guard so there you go. And he's uh, in the contention there. All right. That's your master's. Update. All right. Not as exciting again as Chris Vernon's show, but, you know, we do what we can. We do what we can. That's right. All we can do. All right. What, did you add something? You pointed at something. Over no, no, no. We're, she and I are communicating, and I don't know what she's, she's just saying. You don't know what's going on? Just say it. We're, we're at the end of the line here. Yeah, nobody cares. At yeah, this no point. One, no. What's your question? Are there supposed to be liners right here? Yeah, there are. Ooh. I can't find them. Industry jargon. Yeah. All right. Um, talking shop. Awesome. I'll uh, I'll I'll find it. Not working. I'll find it. They're missing. Okay. Do this. That you know what? We'll we'll. we'll uh, sorry, sorry. I'll show you. I'll show you where they are. Call Big C. No 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 no, no 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 Don't do, don't do that. <laughs> he yeah, knows where they hang are. On. Just let go. I got it. He knows. Uh, I, I'm all over. Call Ty. He knows where everything. <laughs> Ty's the reason we're in this mess. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's see here. I got something here for you here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Cypress, Texas. Here's a story for you. A mother-daughter duo found themselves in handcuffs oh, hey, after an right. undercover operation in Cyprus where they were accused of traveling across the country giving paying clients illegal butt injections. I'm sorry, what? Consuelo Dalbo and her 18-year-old daughter, Isabella, were arrested separately but are both facing charges related to unlawful medical practice. Uh, Houston police conducted the sting, and according to investigators, they were charging $6,000 per procedure and performed the illegal butt injections immediately after arriving in Texas from California. Hmm. Their court date is, uh, well, it's uh, coming up here pretty soon. Yeah. You got it? What? Question. Yes. How old is the daughter in all of this? 18. 18. So she, are these licensed people? No. They're, that's they're, the problem. They're running bootleg butt injections? Yes, that's, that's right. That's crazy. Yes. But you can be 18 and have those. Yes, but you can't administer them without uh, the proper uh, you know, uh, uh, licensing yeah. and whatnot. They were just doing it and charging uh, money. Yeah. You can't do that. Um, so um, the uh, sting operation authorities confiscated bags that contained illegal injectables and medical equipment. Uh, HPD, 
along with agents from the FDA and Homeland Security, were uh, involved in this uh, situation. The women were under the impression they were going to a private residence to meet a client, but they were met by the cops. private client. Uh See, this already sounds dicey. Yeah. Should have known. Yeah. They also, also it was a it was a sting operation. Yes, that's okay. how they got him. Okay. Uh, they tried to give the client who was an undercover officer. They tried to give the client Xanax to relax before the injection. You can't awesome. do that. <laughs> not even good. No, not good. Not 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 gonna not gonna do it. Police documents show the women were not even sure what was in the bottles. So, can you imagine you paid six grand for butt injections and they don't even work? Do you get your money real? back? Oh no! It's a, well, I don't know how that. How they who are they the arresting? Are they arresting the people? Just, the, peop- just the, the buyer or the doctor? No, not the buyer. No, 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 no. They're going after these uh, women okay. that are okay. bilking okay. people out of thousands of dollars. Okay, that's get, what they're again, doing. Do you get your money back? Well, I don't know how restitution works on that. Like, if you get if you get scammed, if you do get you... scammed doing something illegal, though. Yeah, but if you are the scammy and you lose money, like I don't think you do. You, do you get the money back? Uh, hey, hold I don't on. think so. Uh, Sean and Alma is asking. Uh, do y'all have their number for when they get out? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll send that out to our uh, our VIP members. Uh, Ryan and Prairie Grove says a butt injection sting. That's bingo for him. Okay, well, uh, we got a, a Friday bingo here. On, I love that. Uh, I love, a Friday five o'clock bingo. That's like one of my favorite things. Yeah, I think right. I love a good bingo. Yeah, that's right. It is bingo night, right? Yeah, it is. BQ, are Friday? you calling bingo? In your bootleg uh, bingo parlors? No. So I just looked up an average price of these injections or mm-hmm. procedures. It's like twelve thousand to eighteen thousand. Oh, so it was a half. No, people thought they were so getting a deal. Okay. They should have known that was the first sign of maybe something mm, right, maybe not some, right was maybe, going, or on. the lack of diplomas on the wall. The the general. Um, well, there was no office. They were just going around doing this oh, like out of their a, car. Oh, yeah. it's a it's a come to you type That's thing. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. Get no your, licenses, no get paperwork. Your card detailed and right. get the button. Jack. Oh, it's like a midwife. <laughs> A little, the BBL. Little different, a, little bit, a, little, a little different than a midwife, but uh, I like to think of it as like DoorDash. The midwives have a little more paperwork, I think. <laughs> right. don't they? Oh, I mean, no, no, no. I'm not <laughs> saying midwives aren't qualified. I'm in the scenario, oh, yeah. it's like a midwife. Like a travel scenario. nurse. <laughs> right, 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 right. Only not licensed in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, there you go. Oh, man. So they're in trouble. So they're uh, they can't do that. Uh, would you like to do the polls here since we're, we're all uh, yeah, leaving, you know, you know, people are ever, going to baseball yeah, here in a minute? Yeah, Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Your Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by our very good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air at Springdale. 479-225-8809. If you tried out, could you get the part of the fool at a Renaissance fair? <laughs> 56% of you said yes. I'll be honest with me. Could you spell Renaissance without looking? 75.1% no. of you were honest and said would the Bronco chase have broken Twitter had it existed? 96.4% of you said yes. I was thinking about this today. Can you imagine what that would have been like? How many? Di- uh, it would have been unbelievable. The shots from the uh, from the overpass. Yeah. People, oh, just been. I mean, it was drone footage. Oh, it would have been unreal. The drones and the helicopters right. chasing after him. Uh, is there anything more awkward than someone having digestive issues? While they're in a public restroom, fifty-four point eight percent of you said no. And uh, if you see someone over the age of forty-five out after nine p.m. on a weeknight, can we safely assume that they have taken a nap earlier in the day? Ninety point two percent of you said yes. Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls. They are brought to you by our very best of friends, Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. Four seven nine two two five eighty eight zero nine for all of your heat and air needs. Uh, one texter suggesting this illegal operation could have been known as Booty, Booty Dash. Dash. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, real quick before we uh, uh, go to baseball here, uh, yeah. JW has a question. Do you have an opinion on scallops? I love scallops. Okay. I love Bay scallops. scallops. Huh? Bay scallops. I love sc- If they are cooked correctly, they are fan. Task. There's a restaurant here in town who is it's the only restaurant that does it right. Mm. And it is it is it is a, a a festival in one's mouth when you are having a scallop. Good scallop. Good scallop. Now bad ones, you know, you're gonna pay for like it. Like a good coach. Right. Good coach. Like our- I, what I was saying was <laughs> that David Shaw was a good coach. He played for a yeah. good coach. And you said Pittman wasn't. 
No, I didn't. I never I, said that. Well, you implied it. No, I did not. I said that David Shaw. Well, I inferred. Good, yeah, well, you <laughs> flat out said, well, I play for a good coach. <sighs> All right. So uh, uh, baseball is coming up here on yes. uh, ESPN Arkansas on some of these stations. And uh, some of you, uh, well, it's not. So um, <laughs> you'll be uh, listening to uh, knitting. No, I'm, I don't know what it is. Something else. Um, so that's on the way here on Ruskin and Zach 